Hello everyone, I am Tacit and welcome to another Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout stream. So we had a little bit of technical difficulties later, but I believe everything is situated. Changed up a couple settings, but yeah, gosh, we were losing so many frames earlier. But uh, anyways, uh, we got Parakeet today. Uh, we have full Parakeet, so we're going to be wearing it. Uh, pretty cool outfit, so we'll be wearing it a decent amount today. Other than that, uh, we have a new show, which is the uh, most relevant thing. This ended up dropping uh, yesterday. It's a little bit glitchy, uh, but they finally fixed all the uh, issues that it had. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty much good to go. So uh, we'll get into that and uh, hopefully have a lot of fun with this because these are all the best stages pretty much in the game uh, as far as uh, what it has for options, which should be uh, pretty nice. Double check my settings to make sure everything's still going well. Let me know if it's still lagging or anything like earlier. Hopefully it shouldn't be. I changed enough that it shouldn't. Reset the internet, reset the computer, <laughs> changed our bit rate, and I turned it down to normal latency, uh, which might make it a little bit more delayed, the stream slightly, but it should make it a bit smoother. And somehow it is still trying to drop frames. Why? What is on with this today? That is so strange. Well, hopefully it'll stop soon. <laughs> because I have no clue what's up with that. It has no reason to be doing that. I better not keep doing that. I've changed literally every possible thing that could be causing it. Unless it's an outdated driver or something. Did literally one of my drivers become outdated between now and yesterday? Or something? I'm not sure. I changed just about every possible thing that could have made it smooth. But yeah, this one already starts on rollout, which is pretty cool. 60 person rollout. That's why they made this uh, area so big. I always wondered like why is there so much room with where you get placed? But it's because they were planning on a 60 person rollout or it's just a 59. We're missing one person right next to me. Oh, no, they're gone <laughs> oh, Yeah, grabbing is very dangerous on this stage You pretty much want everyone else to do grabbing and this is like the final kill your chance of dying when you go for a grab kill is so ridiculously high on this stage because all it takes is someone else coming from behind you, and then you're like, boom, dead. <laughs> Easy as that. <laughs> and there we go. Oh, yeah, I saw what you said, Supplement. There wasn't anything showing. There normally never is. Because we have everything. Yeah, let me know if it's lagging at all, anyone. But I'm not sure what more we could really do to try to fix it today. It might just be my internet today, I'm not sure. The game's running perfectly smooth, though. Not sure why the stream would be so weird. Let's see, is it still dropping anything? Ah, oh, it's still trying to drop some. Hmm. Oh, we got Slime Climb, nice. I could try lowering the bitrate even lower, or not stream to 1080p, if it's just going to be bad today. Just keep it at 720 at a lower bitrate. Could just be that our connection is arbitrarily slower today. It's really weird that the program itself is lagging because I have literally zero lag right now in game. And we're front running. Oh, we were front running. <laughs> Yeah, I got him hammered. No first place for you. <laughs> Gimme. Give Gimme Give that first. We will try getting kill count on this stage later. There we go, and we're in. But I don't like wrecking balls there. If we get hammers or rods, we'll try. Oh yeah, hopefully it's fixed now. The program was still showing it was dropping a bit. Maybe it was just doing it at the beginning of the stream. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's healthy now. Okay, hopefully it stays that way. Maybe we're just doing some weird beginning of stream lag. Hopefully it's fixed. 
The only thing I could possibly think of is lower the bitrate more if it doesn't work. Because we changed just about everything else that could have been changed. Let's see if the parrot can get there. Or the toucan, I mean. The tropical toucan. That's a lower rarity one. I actually don't care for that one as much. Oh, he's dead. Okay, good. We don't have to deal with him then. <laughs> okay, that Alex guy is going to be the hardest. Not the knight, but the one pushing the knight. Based on skin, he's the hardest person in the lobby. Though I almost feel like going back to Sonic. This is actually the last day to get Sonic for a very long time in the game. And um, the main reason I want to use Sonic is we can basically blend in. Because the ratio of Sonic compared to every other skin is absurdly high right now. So if we were using Sonic, we'd blend right in with every other Sonic in existence. Because the number of people running Sonic top, Sonic bottom with a white face is absurdly high. Like there's two of them just in this lobby. And one of them's a half Sonic. And the other one's full Sonic, but he's wearing inverted face. So if we want to blend in for all the grab shenanigans, we should probably be using Sonic. Because no one, almost no one uh, plays with name tags on. So we can blend right in. We'll keep changing our outfit up, but we will do Sonic for some of it. Because I feel like it's strategically the strongest outfit to be using right now in this game mode. Since no one will know who you are. Because when we're using this parakeet, we're like going to be literally the only person in every lobby we enter with parakeet on. Full parakeet. It'd be very rare for someone to actually have full parakeet right now. Not because it costs a lot, because but because it needs to show up in your shop rotation. Okay, half Sonic's a grabber. Wait, which half Sonic is he? He's the Jester half Sonic. Though you kind of have to assume in this game mode, literally everyone's a grabber. Because there's no such thing as someone not being a grabber in this game mode, just because literally every minigame is a grabbing minigame. The grab intensity in these kind of lobbies are so much higher than a normal lobby when you're doing these jump showdowns. Not to mention a lot of these people, if they're playing, uh, I mean not jump showdown, but I mean um, slime uh, survivals. But if you're playing this uh, set of games, they um, likely are experiencing this kind of set of games. So as I say that, that went ultra, ultra quick. Normally it goes to overtime, or not overtime, but you know, like uh, a draw. I've been seeing that a lot lately. Where basically everyone, um, like basically the elimination number doesn't get met. And just moves on to the next stage. It only has like a minute and a half invisible timer. So I believe the shortest invisible timer in the game of any stage with an invisible timer. Oh gosh, we got block party. Hopefully we get easy pattern for the later side. And don't get trolled. We actually died on the previous stream. Oh, we can blame it on the lag. <laughs> Though the game wasn't lagging. I was concerned about the stream lag, which was distracting me. Hey, let me know, is the stream still going healthily? <laughs> is it lagging at all? Because the game still hasn't log lagged a single time. So it might just be something with my computer or streaming program then. Or streaming software, I mean. Oh, well, don't you dare kill us off the ledge. Hello, Bill! Welcome! Okay, it's not lagging right now? Okay, good. So the changes earlier hopefully fixed it. It might just been at the beginning of the stream then. That's good. Making sure it's all fixed. Is he gonna jump spam? I should grab him before he does it and then grab him again. Oh, nope. Someone failed there. So dangerous going for those grabs. Because you're just about as much as disadvantage is like uh, right here when it's like all straights like this and the other is um, if you have those very thick side side tiles for the final you can get so many kills with grabs there did we get side side no we got the easiest pattern no one dies here I still see someone occasionally die here but it's near impossible to actually die in this pattern You can almost stand in a single location and not die. Right, there we go. Easy. 
easy is that? Okay, this should be final. Uh, it has to go to one of either two finals in this game mode. The best two finals in the game, Hexagon and uh, Jump Showdown. They will be fixing these stages likely on Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday of next week uh, to make them better or more like how they were before. Um, and change like the color issue with Hexagon and change the, um, the speed issue with uh, Jump Showdown. But um, it's still good regardless. Okay, we got 11 person hexagon. Let's go get our first crown. First hexagon, first win. Our average win rate for hexagon is still around 33%. We need to really get that up. Not to mention, it's even harder in these lobbies. Because anyone who's playing the show probably is good at hexagon. Oh gosh, I wanted those tiles. Oh gosh, we ate each other. No, I just missed the floor. Oh, okay, good. I somehow didn't miss the floor there. Okay, I need to go devour a nice little chunk for myself. Okay, we're being eaten alive. Uh, I can't make that jump. I'm just going over here and then cutting them off. Gosh, everyone's eating each other right now. I'm not sure what the play is here. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, uh, we are in a bad location right now. No, we all left the section. No, ah, uh, why did he have to leave too? Oh, uh, I thought he was going to eat the other guy. Now he's going to have so much tiles, but we can cut them off. So they don't have as many tiles over there. Uh, you know what? Oh, I was going to eat these, but now, gosh, he's taking me out. Why do you have to devour us? Why? Yeah, I killed him. I killed the Sonic. Uh, except we have a billion other problems. <laughs> we finished the Sonic issue, but now we have a billion other problems on our hands. Okay, uh, I need to kill this guy out. Or do something. You know what, I'm gonna devour this. <gasps> no! I hit him in my own body! No! Why did he have to cut over? Ah, uh, he killed us. Could've won. Let's see who's gonna win now. Who was the person who we just grabbed? I think it was the egg? That was really unfortunate. The egg won. Oh, that was very unfortunate. Was that who we grabbed? Was it the egg? No, we actually grabbed the red guy. So we technically made him lose, at least. Oh, no, no. We did grab the egg. Never mind. No! That was the person we grabbed. And he still won. <laughs> But yeah, we grabbed him and then, um, oh gosh, that's unfortunate. But yeah, we grabbed him and it hit us back. Because he was in front of us to the tile that we were going to. His body basically shot back and hit us back. That's very unfortunate. Yeah, I should have cut him off earlier. We could have won. Because we would have had the tiles that he was getting. That's what I was trying to do, but unfortunately, the grab did not succeed. All right, let's go update our numbers. Final stages is at one. Uh, where's my final stage counter? There it is. Let's go update our number. Wait, you couldn't see. Is it still lagging? My internet might just be bad today. I'm not sure. I'm not seeing any lag whatsoever in game. Yeah, there's no team game modes in this game, which is good. Imagine if they made one with only team games. <laughs> no, there's no team game finals, so that'd be impossible to make.
There we go. Already in. That stage goes really, really quick. Uh, Tribute's not ready yet. I grabbed it right before the stream. Uh, we're probably not getting a new stage in this game until maybe the mid-season patch or in another week. They are likely still adding another stage or two to this uh, season, though. But they already confirmed they're doing another new season patch. The only thing we know for sure that's in it, though, is um, they're adding variations to um, Perfect Match. So that's not as easy. They're adding a spinner, and hopefully they're adding Shooting Fruits, because Shooting Fruits would make too much sense to not include. Like, if there was any stage that has Shooting Fruits, this should be the stage that has Shooting Fruits on it. Hey, there's a dragon in the lobby. And it's not us. <laughs> I was like spinning in circles. I wasn't even paying attention to the thing. Uh, apple, grape, apple, grape, apple, grape. Apple, grape, banana, orange. Um, grape, apple, banana, orange. Grape, apple, orange, banana. 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 Grape, apple. He stayed on that fixed tile for a while. Uh, cherry, grape, banana water, 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 cherry, grape, banana water. Oh gosh, we are way too close in this corner. Though I guess I helped kill the Sonic. <laughs> and we're in. I should have stayed to the corner a little bit longer. Might be able to get more than just a Sonic kill. That counts, though. <laughs> I almost felt like uh, including a kill count counter. Because you can get so many kills in this game mode. They are playing a little bit safe currently. Though in Jump Showdown, you'll see what I mean. <laughs> because everyone is normally so grabby by that point. Because every single one of these mini games is a potential grab mini game. So we've been playing kind of nice on um, this stage as well. But it's mostly because we've been front running. Oh, we got hammers though. We got the hammers. Um, yeah, this actually has none of the new season stuff. They did do a patch yesterday where it's actually more common to find in new season stages. However, uh, I haven't really gotten to see that because I've been playing mostly this mode and not the old mode. But I'll play some of the old mode uh, today. We'll mostly be playing the new slime one. Because they increased the chance to get the medieval stages in the uh, previous mode set. So it'll be a lot more likely to get all four to new stages. Okay, we're in a position where we control now. I'm not sure if I want to secure kills on top and play it dangerous or just do the rod. The problem with the rod, though, is you make a lot of enemies. And every single one of these is a killing minigame, and that's normally a bad idea. So I'm just going to go for securing kills. Because there's hammers up there, so we might as well. If it was something else we wouldn't, but it is hammers, so we will try. No! I killed him, but I killed myself! Worth it. Ah. <laughs> uh... Come on, we gotta get at least like a three kill count if we're gonna die ourselves. Can't just go for one kill and die and fail. That was a really weird angle. I knew it would kill him, but I was hoping it would um, hit us backwards. But it didn't hit us backwards quick enough. <laughs> I was planning on diving, but he was in my way. I was gonna go dive forward and kill the other one who was in first. But he was in my way, so I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna grab him. But it didn't release quick enough. I had to hold on to him long enough that it would give him pushback. But it was so long that it... Um, was enough for the other rod to catch up, unfortunately. That's the only b bad thing about that rod section is um, their speeds are changed every single time. So if you're not paying really close attention to what the speed is and you're trying to go for a grab kill, you can sometimes kill yourself out. 
Worth it, though. We have secured the kill we wanted. <laughs> We're going to see a lot of deaths today. I'm not planning on really getting many crowns today. We're mostly just having fun. This is not a crown-gaining stream, that's for sure. Hopefully we can hit at least 320. Should be able to. But the main priority is uh, just to have fun with all the grabby minigames. I should probably go try going for kill count here. You can actually get some really decent players killed on this stage. The only problem is if you go for a kill and there's witnesses, you're dead. If anything, what I should be doing is looking for people killing other people, then kill those people so that we don't have grabbers for later stages. So basically, I just need to be scouting out for people grabbing people and kill the people grabbing other people. So I'm going to bait them out by going over here. Uh, no one's grabby on this side, so we need to go find a different section. So they're grabby over there. Okay, that Sonic's a little grabby. Though I can't tell which, because there's a billion Sonics in this lobby! Let's see if we can find some grabbers. Okay, I killed him. Oh no, he- okay good, he died. Oh, we got another grabber. No, we died too. <laughs> One nice thing about the stage though is it cycles right back to the next so quickly. You can actually farm kudos and everything like ultra quick here. Because you can die within like 10 seconds. Go restart and just farm kudos and fame. I wonder if anyone who's uh, not as good at the game is actually bothering to do that. Because you can farm a lot of resources pretty quick. It's actually, if you get zero wins in an hour, it is actually quicker to constantly keep going to the first stage, auto losing and loading back in than it is to actually play <laughs> as far as how much kudos and fame you get. So I wonder if there are some amount of people doing that. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, that's because we haven't been farming between then. Like sometimes they do off stream farming. We also only stream for three hours. And we normally only hit one to two crowns per hour, which is why we haven't hit another 10 milestone. Because we don't really have a need to get crowns, so I haven't been trying to necessarily aim for crowns as much lately. Just having fun. Because we're at the point where um, we have enough to literally buy everything that's realistically ever going to be added to the game at this point. For the foreseeable future. Like, if we could not play for a month and just check the shop every day, buy out the entire shop, and probably still not run out of resources. Because currently we've bought out the shop every single day since about the fourth day we've been playing. Okay, let's try getting a kill count without dying. I want to get at least five kills in this lobby without dying. We're going to make that our goal for every uh, lobby here. So we're currently at zero kill count. <laughs> That's why you don't do that. <laughs> Grabbing is a death sentence on this stage. It is so hard to secure a kill. We're going to do that, though. We need to win and also get five plus kills. I don't care if we die immediately. We need to get kill count. This, this game mode doesn't count as a win unless you get at least five kills. <laughs> when is Mario 64? We'll be doing that at some point. Next game that I haven't really streamed much, I believe we're going to be doing... Um, we're going to be doing... Um, what's it called? Spell break probably twice next week. And then we're going to do... Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll just do it once after they have the patch. Because the patch will make things a lot more interesting. Well, I don't know. I kind of want to do one before and after just to kind of show the differences. But um, we'll probably do spell break a little bit next week. Though we'll still be doing Fall Guys and everything. And then the week after that, we'll probably be Pikmin 3. The week after that, we might be able to do Mario 64. Though we are going to be doing a variety stream on Halloween and the birthday on fourth, on the 4th. So um, we could possibly throw other random stuff in there. Can we get a death counter? <laughs> what, you mean a kill counter? I was going to make a KDA, uh, like a kill death assist for the stream. I was considering it for the stream because I'm not really focusing on crowns or uh, finals today. At least not as much as we normally would be. Uh, spell break, you mean the hide and seek game? No, we play it for real. I just played hide and seek when we're going AFK. Oh, okay, let's see what our kill count is for the stage. Let's try getting a kill. Uh, 
Okay, one kill. Spots to kill over here. Come on, I want one more kill this lobby for this uh, match. On the rollout, just do two spots left. Come on, someone go to a killable position. Ah, there's only one kill left. We're only going to be one kill count this time. Okay, we're at one kill. But yeah, let's go get a. Um, I I'm going to need to change our number. Get like a KD8 you number. Assist would be if we kill them with intimidation. Like you don't actually touch them, but your proximity kills them. And kills would be obviously anyone who we touch who dies. And deaths would be every single time we get eliminated. I think starting next round we're gonna make a KDA counter. <laughs> Might as well. Because we're not really focusing on wins or finals today. Is the stream still healthy? Let me know. If it's still lagging at all or any. On my side, it still looks fine, but still want to check. Oh, two just died there. That doesn't count as assist, though. Because we weren't the reason necessarily to actually kill them. Us being part of the herd technically was. I guess that would technically count as assist, wouldn't it? Because you're in a herd that's pushing them over. And if you weren't... Yeah, I guess that counts as two assists. True assist would be like... Um, if you're on that rod. And they fall, but you don't actually make contact with them. Because that means you killed them with intimidation. Like assist would be... We don't get a grab on them. Or even make contact with them. But us being on the rod caused them to fall. Like, that would be a kill if he dropped into slime there because we made contact. But the other guy that fell over to the right would have been an assist. Same as him. Because our intimidation is what killed him. Those two would have been kills if that was actually a slime pit down there. Those two would have been kills too, or at least the one. That would have been a kill. Oh, yep, that would have been a kill. That would have been a kill. Kill. That one would have been assist on the, uh, on that guy. That would have been a kill. That would have been a kill. This guy's trying to kill us now. That would have been a kill. That is a kill. One kill. Two kills. Th uh, one assist. Two kills. One assist. Uh, four kills. One assist. Okay, that's all we're getting. Four kills and one assist. <laughs> Mwahaha. Should we actually start keeping track from this round? I guess we will. So we're at five kills, one assist total. Is what are... Or actually three assists if you count the one at the beginning. I'm counting those. We're at uh, five kills, three assists. Because they died from herd. From us being in the herd, pushing them over. So five kills, three assists. Let's go make our numbers. We need to kill deaths and assist numbers. Hold up. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let me go. Um, uh, let's see. I'll probably just make it one number. Let's see. Let me go hide these two. Uh, actually, let me just not make it into it yet. I'll make a separate folder for it. Wait, can you make a folder inside of a folder? I'm just going to call it... Fall Guys KDA. Uh, can you make a folder in a folder? Yes, you can make a folder in a folder. <gasps> the possibilities. Oh, the possibilities of making a folder in a folder. <laughs> Folders intensify. Wait, can you not make the entire folder visible at once? Oh, no, it's because I have nothing in the folder yet. Aww. All right, well, we'll go mess with that once he uh, gets the next round. So our five, three, one, or zero. Because we're gonna start counting it from this, um, we'll start counting it from now. Since I have no clue what our numbers were on all previous stages. Since I wasn't keeping track. So our five kills, three assess, zero deaths. So obviously if we don't win the entire thing, we'll have one death every single time. We're gonna have to do that for every slime, uh, survivors. We'll definitely need to do another Fall Guy stream sometime this week and keep track of KDA the entire time. <laughs> Not even barely keep track of wins. Obviously, if our crown goes up, uh, we will. But uh, just keep track of our KDA the entire time and see what it comes out to by the end. I'm really curious. K 
kills are anything we directly made contact with that died. Assists are... We actually just died here. We actually just died. <laughs> he grabbed killed us. Which technically does count as an uh, assist on him, I guess. So I'll count that as an assist. <laughs> Since he technically died because of our uh, him trying to kill us. Which, um, technically, it was still a kill. <laughs> I'm not sure. Would that count as a kill or an assist? If we killed him... But we killed him without touching him. He touched us. I guess that still counts, kind of like your, how hitting your body does. I don't know. Would you consider that a kill or an assist? Like, he killed us, but we also killed him. But I didn't make contact with him directly. We kind of body blocked him, though, in a sense. I'll count that as a kill, I guess. I'm not really sure what that would count as, but he technically died <laughs> as a result of us. So, we'll count that as a kill. Okay, let's go get our numbers. So, that's 631. Let's go keep track of our KDA. Uh, okay, I need to go make a field for it. Should I just make one big field for it? Or separate it? Uh, let's see. Because I just do KDA. Not everyone knows what KDA means. Uh, let's see. I might just do it as one number. We'll see. Uh, kind of like how we do it for Gems of War with that one thing. It's because it takes up too much room if you, uh, don't. Uh, let's see. KDA... Uh, let's see. Actually, should you have it the other way around? Well, I guess having assist after is fine. That's the normal order that KDE is in. Okay. Uh, where's my field? Oh, yeah, there's no text. That would help. Oh, yes, there is text. It's too small. Uh, one moment. Let me put KDA in the KDA folder. Uh, and then hide the other two. Where are the other two? Uh, wins today and finals today. Though for, uh, we can actually keep wins today. Technically on screen. Oh, it's probably going to be a small number because we're not really playing for wins. But I guess we'll still keep it up. Because if we're doing as one single number here, it's not going to get in the way of it. I'll uh, make it bigger, and it was 6-3, or sorry, 6-1-3 is our KDA today, currently. I could maybe make that a bit bigger. Actually, yeah, it definitely needs to be at least a little bigger. Uh, let's see. There we go. There we go. We got a KDA tracker. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It is technically a battle royale. So we'll keep track of all kills, deaths, and assists in Slime Survivors specifically. So this will incentivize this to kill everyone. <laughs> I feel like we'll do better for doing Sonic so we blend in with everyone. Yeah, six kills, one death, three assists. We'll start keeping track of it for the rest of the stream and see what it ends at. I'm really curious what that number will end at. We'll definitely finish on a positive KDA. The question is how positive. Also, assist should be relatively low. Uh, slime Climb is generally the only stage you're going to get assist kills. Theoretically, Hexagon, you could also get assist kills. I'm not sure what exactly you would count as an assist kill. We'd have to be very close proximity for an assist kill to count. Because theoretically, almost every kill in Hexagon could be considered an assist kill. But unless they're in, like, really close proximity, I'm not counting as assist. And unless we specifically grab sabotage, kill them, it doesn't count as a kill. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I'm supposed to be going for kills. Let me stop trying to survive. Oh, we still have to try not to die. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's wait till they sabotage each other weirdly. Might get zero kills here. 
It looks like they're going to do something here. Oh, not quite. Like, we could probably get a kill here, but the problem is we're going to get anti-killed so quickly. If we're not careful. Woo! <laughs> I'm not sure we're going to secure a kill. But once it gets to 19, we can go as risky as we want. Because it doesn't matter if we get anti-killed. Oh, we got zero kills. No, we can't update the kill counter. And I'll update it probably every round, so I don't have to keep memorizing it from around the rounds. Because there's enough time in the screen to update the numbers. I can't believe I have a KDA tracker in a party game. <laughs> it is technically a battle royale. Oh gosh, we got perfect match. Another thing we'll have zero kills on. Though, if we do a pretend tile, I'm counting that as an assist kill. If we could do a fake out tile. So if we go to a fake tile and then move to a real. Anyone who dies on that tile, I'm counting as an assist. That's very rarely going to give us kills though. And at most, it's only going to give us like one. Oh yeah, we got cherries and watermelons. Cherries and waters. Cherry water, cherry water. Hey, someone else in the parakeet. That's very rare. He's actually in full parakeet too. We're parakeet buddies. That's the first time I've seen anyone in par full parakeet. Other than herself. Orange apple grape, 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 orange apple grape. Orange apple grape. There's triple apple is there. Orange apple grape. 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 Orange. Nope, no kills. No assists. As long as we don't die. Uh water orange. Water orange. Water orange grape apple. 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 Water orange grape. Oh, it's all crowd here. Does that count as an assist? I'd say yes. Herd kill. With a gigantic herd. <laughs> because we contributed to the tile that killed them. Assists are going to really be really subjective. Kills are very obvious when they're a kill for the most part. And deaths as well. <laughs> assists are going to be very, very subjective though. But I would count that as a, a assist. We were in a gigantic herd that made it bigger that ultimately ended up uh, pushing them off. Due to the intensity of how many people were on the tile. So that counts. Also, did we just lose connection? No! Our first connection error! Why? Well, that doesn't count as a, kill, a death, at least. Because we didn't actually die. What are you doing, connection error? That's not uncommon. I feel like, on average, we get like two to three per stream. It always happens, though. Even if you're playing off stream, it, you still get connection errors all the time. It has to do with their servers, more so than connection. Okay, we need to start getting that kill count up. All those are from a single round. <laughs> we got zero kills that round. Rolla is such a risky one to go for. Kill death assist and errors. <laughs> How many error deaths do we have? Oh, we got a full lobby of 60. So that should be 23, right? No, 21. Really? How is a full lobby only 21? Yeah, it could be 22 and 23 sometimes. Strange. Alright, let's go secure our kills. Oh, so I should switch to Sonic soon so we can hide and camouflage with all the other Sonics. Alright, there's no one here who we can kill. Oh, I should have went for him. Okay, uh, let's kill the golden chicken. Oh, that would have been the perfect time to, too. Uh, that was a little late for the grab. Ah, uh, I can't get a kill here. Golden Chicky's grabby. I need someone to try going for a kill. Okay, we got one kill. Oh, no, that's not a kill. He survived, actually. Barely. He actually survived that. Oh, we're not going to get any kills again on this stage. Oh, 
zero kills. At least we didn't die. It's such a risky stage with 60 people on it to die on. Because the second you go for a kill, someone else is going to try to kill you. I think the easiest way to try to get a kill is kind of like what we did. Pretend you're about to jump over the tile. Then move out of the way and go behind them. Because they're going to try pushing forward with grab. Then they'll move slower. Then you go behind them, grab them, and then kill them. Like, pretend you're about to gra uh, go to a bad location and then kill them out. Gosh, stop giving us perfect match. <laughs> Why not add that mid-season update now? To slime survivors. Because, it's, like, everyone survives this stage. There's, like, no deaths here. This is a good stage to get assists on, though. We got great bananas. Great banana, great banana, great banana. We got a grape. Oh, that's a grape. <laughs> I thought that was a fake tile. Haha. <laughs> uh, cherry banana, cherry banana, uh, cherry banana, cherry banana, cherry banana, cherry banana, orange apple, 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 cherry banana, orange apple. Ah, I couldn't get him. Oh, that would have been assist on Sonic though. Oh no. Uh, banana, uh, banana water grape, 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 uh, banana water. And I knew we were, actually, I didn't know where one of them was though. Uh, that's an assist. I want more assists. We tile killed. Uh, let's see. Let's update our number. The number has been updated. 615. Oh, so hello, Elite Gaming. Welcome. Oh, Slime Climb. Okay, here's where you can get the true kill counts at. Oh, it's also very likely to try to die while you're trying to get kill count. Okay, do we do rod or upper or both? I think I'm going for the rod. Oh, the upper is perfect, though. That's my favorite pattern for upper. Never mind, we're racing to the end. Hold up, we're not doing rod today. I mean, we're not doing, um... Yeah, well, I guess it is rod. The other rod. We're not doing the yellow rod. We're doing the end rods. We need a front run to the end and then kill everyone. No! The ball! Why do you have to hit us? The boulder. Give me that speed boost. Okay, I think we're fine to get the first run, front run. Alright, we're not taking first though. We're just here for kill count, even though we're front running this. Nope. Nope. Okay, kill count time. Where is everyone? Why are you guys so slow? I can take such a safe first right now. I can take such a ridiculously safe first. Okay, who's the first to die? Hello! Imagine if you actually killed so good that no one got past you and you won because you killed everyone. Ah, uh, he might get by. No, he's gonna get by. He's gonna get by. Come on, we need some kills. We need some kills. I'm not getting any kills. Not getting any kills. They're all trying to do the jump thing past. Ah! Can't get any kills. Can't get any- Everyone's like so safe. Uh, that wasn't a kill, unfortunately. Gosh, everyone just did a grab competition over here. even going on right now <laughs> we started a little mini graphic competition oh what even is this someone's dying by the end of this oh wait wait I didn't want to get a hit on him ah, 
How has no one died from all of this grabbing? Not a single person has actually died. <gasps> Except for me, almost. Ooh, that was close. Oh, we got us. Oh, the Sonic kill. We technically killed him by going into the thing. I can count that. <laughs> I'm counting that as a kill. We're taking them where we can get them. <laughs> I'm counting that as a kill. We were literally the last person that went in, which caused them to die. Because for whatever reason, I'm still not sure what caused that. But there's like a weird thing where you, the last person in. I think it might be when there's like all the people are on the final tile. And then the last person that goes in auto eliminates the other one, I think. I'm not sure exactly what causes it. But that technically counts as a kill. <laughs> we're counting it. Also, final should be after this if we don't die trying to kill people. Or get killed because we were in a gigantic grab fest, which is pretty much this game mode in a nutshell. Slime survivors. Okay. We're gonna be such a target. We need to wear Sonic after this. We won't be targeted as much as Sonic. Because we can camouflage with all the other Sonic. So if we're sabotaging a billion people, we can just blend in with the billion other Sonics in the lobby. Especially since it's so common to wear face, white faceplate with it, because that matches what Sonic actually looks like. Oh, that would have been a kill. We actually touched him. <gasps> Ooh. Is that an assist? Ah, I would count that as... Is that an assist or a kill? If someone grabs us and they die, is that an assist or a kill? Because technically we touched them and we outplayed them, but they mostly killed themselves. <laughs> I don't know, what do you guys say as the verdict for that? I count the other one as a kill, because technically we made contact with them. Because we just got one this battle. And only one. Where someone grabbed us and they died. Alright, there we go, we're in. Okay, I'll count it as a kill. I count the other one as a kill, too. Uh, we'll count that as a kill. So we're at eight kills then. Because we technically made contact with them. Any instance where we directly make contact with a kill and they die within like the next five seconds is pretty much a kill. It's only an assist if our proximity kills them. Directly. Oh, jump showdown. Okay, time to rack up those kills and get our first crown of the stream. Because we actually haven't gotten one yet. Mostly because we've been trolling people <laughs> to the max. We're probably level 99 troll by now. Yeah, this is a great stage with to get kill count on. I've gotten like 10 kills on the final tile before. Like not even assists, like direct kills. It's going to be hard to keep track of kills though and not die while trying to keep track though. I don't want to grab yet. They know I'm a grabber, but I'm kind of waiting a bit. Because I'm mostly trying to play safe for the final tile. Or, you know, getting to the final tile. Okay. I'm going to stay on this tile and not move any further left. Even if the other one drops. Oh, gosh. Not if that one drops, though. <laughs> we can't stay on it if it drops itself. Okay. Are we going to be on one tile or two? One tile here would be really funny. Okay. We just got grabbed. Oh, gosh. We're on one tile. This is going to be pure chaos. <laughs> One kill. Okay, let's go get 10 kill count. Two kills. Next. Uh, almost a kill. Oh, nope, two kills. Three kills. No! Oh, we got three kills. Ah, oh, no! It was a matter of time. <laughs> I have killed an entire tile before. Okay, we need to switch to Sonic so we can blend in. We got three kills there, and obviously a death. Ah, oh. ah! Oh, how unfortunate! I wanted to kill the whole tile. <laughs> Eleven, two. Okay, there's our KD now. Eleven kills, two deaths, five assists. Okay, let's go change the Sonic so we can blend in with all the other Sonics. 
It's probably the most strategic skin to use right now. This is the last day to get Sonic, by the way, if any of you actually played a game. Um, so if you want to go get 10 crowns to go get a Sonic, today's the last day that you'll be able to get it for a very long time. Okay, we'll get Sonic. Now we'll blend in with the billion other Sonics in every lobby. Title of the stream, Pure Grabbing Chaos. That's it, is in the title of the stream. It's already in the title. We're going to have a really low win count today. <laughs> if we're deliberately trying to get high kill count. But at least at Sonic, if we get high kill count, they won't know who we are, necessarily. Because we'll blend in with every other Sonic in the lobby. We got to do that camouflage. But I'm pretty sure there'll be like 10 Sonics in our lobby. They are so ridiculously popular right now. That makes sense. This is kind of is a racing game. And is also the featured skin. But it's extremely sought after a featured skin. It's the biggest crossover the game has done so far. For the 60th anniversary of Sega. Also, I should probably stream Sonic Adventure 2 at some point soon. For the 60th anniversary of uh, Sega. It's personally my favorite Sonic game. Mostly because of the Chow Garden, which is really adorable. Basically, you get to raise a bunch of little pets. And decorate them with little animal skins. And that they literally consume. <laughs> and then they gain stats. And then you race them and um, battle with them. It's actually one of the uh, best features ever added in a Sonic game. Yet for whatever reason, it's never returned in any other game. I want that kill. Oh no, neither died! Oh, and we died! No! Oh, it's gonna ruin our KDA. Zero kills. I tried going for a uh, double there. I guess that would have been a kill and an assist, since technically the other one. But uh, we got none, because neither of them died. We overcommitted. Uh, let's see. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. The KDA will just spike up if we can win a jump showdown with all grabs and not die. Man, I should have killed the cactus on the previous jump showdown. I knew he was going to try killing us. He kept going in after us over and over again. And when will we get the Mario skin, I wish? Probably around when it goes cross-platform, or, you know, when it gets launched on Nintendo Switch. It could still be another year before then, though. Before it launches on Switch. Right, we need to go get a kill without dying. It's harder said than done on this stage, though. Oh, that's such a good location to try to get kills at. Okay, we're going to this tile. There's no way we can't get a kill here. Wow, really? Okay. <laughs> Like a boulder. Come on, where all kills at? Oh, default skins. Default skins I'm always concerned about being super pro. Because and barely any actual bad players were default anymore. Oh, that would have been a kill. That was so would have been a kill. Uh, no kills, no assists, no deaths. Come on, give us slime climb. We actually got zero kills on the previous slime climb, though. Well, actually one. We did get technically get one kill on the previous slime climb. It was a two technicality since we took the last qualify, which directly killed him. No, not perfect match. We can get assists here, though. Getting an actual direct kill is near impossible here, though. Because of how easy it is. 
unless they're really not paying attention on the last second when they're on a fake tile and planning on faking the fake tile and then you grab them and then you ruin their jump and then they die. We have to do that like the very last second and you could possibly die yourself. Uh, orange banana, orange banana, orange banana. Orange banana, orange banana. Orange banana, orange banana. We got an orange. Yeah, we can't just kill anyone here. Unless they fall off the style. Nope. Uh, banana, grape, orange, banana, grape, orange, banana, grape, orange, banana, grape, orange, banana, grape, orange. It's a banana, a grape, and an orange. Banana, grape, orange, banana, grape, orange, banana, grape, orange, banana, grape, orange. We need this to be harder. Banana, grape, orange. <laughs> banana, grape, orange, banana, grape, orange. Cherry's right over there. I'll wait. Okay, never mind. I can't wait. It's a big herd. Okay, that counts as assists. One assist. Uh, grape, apple, uh, banana, grape, apple, banana, grape, apple, banana, grape, apple, banana, cherry, 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 grape. Uh, does that one count as assist? Or technically on the tile that was making it move off. I'll count that. Two assists. We're counting it. Some of these are so much subjective, since there's not actually a KDA counter in the game. But that's close enough proximity that it still counts. Because it forced a tile to be populated, and that populated tile killed him. That counts. Oh, yes. Now, here's the one that really counts. Uh, I mean, we might do the rod. We had really bad time trying to kill up there. The problem with this game mode is everyone is a lot better at not dying to grabs. But that rod can be hard to pass. Oh, yeah. We got uh, wrecking balls. We're definitely doing the rod. Oh, we're in a bad position, though. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We're using Sonic skin. I didn't even notice till right now that we're even using Sonic skin. <laughs> it just blends in so much because there's a billion Sonic in every lobby that I didn't even notice that we're using Sonic skin ourselves. Because I'm just so used to every lobby being spammed with Sonics the last few days. So Sonic should go down soon because uh, it won't be purchasable after today for a very long time. It'll be like a couple months before it'll probably be purchasable again. Oh gosh. Oh, we're not being able to kill as much. I'll still be able to get something though. Oh gosh, I can't even get up there. I can't even get up there! <laughs> Too many people in the way. We're getting herded so hard right now. Oh yeah, we definitely gotta go block the rod, because the slime's already pretty high. Unfortunately, a lot of the really good players have already gone by us, but we might be able to go and uh, go get ourselves killed by making an enemy of every single person in the lobby. That sounds like a game plan. Okay, let's go see what our KDA is gonna be here. Okay, he's stuck in the floor. I've seen that a couple times, that glitch. I'm not sure exactly how you do it. Ha, <laughs> they're all waiting, <laughs> because they don't want to die. Ah, you spoiled it! Better have taken the rod yourself. No. Oh, no. I, I ruined it. No. No. Okay. Super risky time. Super risky time. Okay. We got a kill. Oh, only one kill. Oh, we'll take it. There's still more chances to get kills up there. We'll follow the slime all the way up. Hey, right, we get kills here. Potentially. I'm like waiting on him. <laughs> oh, I was hoping we could. Nope. Okay. So wait, did we get another kill over there? I can't even remember now. I gotta let him push me forward. So we can do that. Then jump over him to kill him. Ah, uh, this is gonna be weird, this angle. It's not advantageous to us. <laughs> We're having like a whole grab area over here. That's definitely a kill! That's a kill if I've ever seen one. So what was that? Three kills? Did we get another kill that one area? I can't even remember. Or was that only two kills? Never mind, that was two kills. I don't think we ended up getting a kill in that other area. A little low, but two kills is two kills. 
Uh, let's see. Final stage is on a jump showdowns where you get all the kills. Like, you can pull off, like, a 10-plus kill jump showdown if you play it right. Oh, there's only so many games this uh, thing can choose from. It only chooses survival and slime games. Or not survival games, but it only chooses um, ones that have a slime death pit. As in, if you fall in the pit, you die. Which is why we can actually keep track of KDA. <laughs> because anytime anyone falls off, it's a kill. In this game mode. Like, it's normally pretty hard to track if a grab is a kill. Because technically only you grabbing them and then them getting disqualified counts as a kill. If you're tracking it that way. But in every single one of these stages, there's a literal slime pit. So it's really easy to keep track of kills, deaths, and assists. Since anytime anyone hits the pit, they're dead. Including yourself. Well, I'll definitely finish on a positive KDA. This is a question is how high it actually goes. Oh, so there's still another Sonic in the lot. Oh, no! The other Sonic's not a white face, though. The other full Sonic. And the half Sonic's using the wrong color. Why on earth would you use blue? Why would you use any color other than white and maybe inverted? Because the inverted looks really cool. It's the coolest looking face play in the game right now. But, um, yeah, I'm not sure why he's not wearing a white one. That's literally the color of Sonic's face. That almost, uh, drop killed me. Oh, that would have been an assist. He almost got killed there. Okay, directly counting KDA here is kind of hard to tell. So if he dies, we'll count it. Nope. Alright, no one's gonna die here. I assume we have zero kills and assists so far from this stage. I don't feel like we directly killed anyone. And obviously no one dies at the final thing there. Okay, we get one more stage, which is probably a jump club and then hopefully jump showdown. Oh yeah, the tribute is back up now. I checked at the beginning of the stream, but enough time has gone by that uh, it is ready now. You are correct. Yeah, has the stream been lagging at all, anyone? Or has it been fully back to normal? Oh, yes! Straight to Jump Showdown. Let's go get our KDA up. Okay, I want to hit at least one 10 kill jump showdown today if we can. I don't even care if we get the crown. I just want 10 kills. There's, four, there's uh, 10, 13 people we can eliminate. 10 of them need to be due to us, hopefully. That's really hard to do, though. Especially since I think two just killed themselves. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> two of them already killed themselves. Okay, well, we're not getting 10 kills this time. We'd basically have to kill every remaining person to get 10 kills. And I think he just killed himself somehow. Really? That's helping us win, but it's not getting us helping us get kill count. Oh gosh, that tile just went down. We are in a very bad location. We are gambling with RNG right now. Why would he jump over here? You're gambling with RNG. If this tile goes down, we're pretty much dead. We are playing a very high RNG gamble right now. What's kind of funny is it might actually pay off. That doesn't count as an assist. We weren't close enough to block him from the ledge. That does not count as an assist kill. Even though we were close to him. Okay. So here's the question. Who's going to be the first grabber? Does anyone want to identify themselves? They're all in back tile, so I'm kind of concerned trying to grab them. It's possible, but it's a lot more annoying, especially with this many people. Also, the second we grab someone, we put a big target on our back. And no one's marked as a grabber yet. So we might just have to play this out normally without grabbing anyone. My only concern is as time goes on, their grab intensity will increase. Their need to grab will slowly increase until they actually pull off a grab. And I don't want to be the one who gets the first grabbed on. Because you're probably dead. Because no one's really expecting a grab. So the first person who reveals themselves might have put a target on their back. But they also generally kill whatever their first objective is. As soon as we get down to three, I will start grab killing, though. 
I need at least one more person to die, if not two, though. I feel like taking up this goblin. However, default skin's probably also insanely good. And the Sonic's trying to finish out a Sonic skin. So the Sonic's probably not as good. Because he doesn't have enough crowns to finish Sonic. Which he's trying to get right now. Oh, uh, wouldn't that be a, a mean to try stealing the Sonic skin from him? Because he's trying to get enough crowns before the end of today to get it. Wouldn't that be mean? Because technically all of us could tie for a crown. Which at this point I think might just happen. I think I'm too concerned with try going for a grab kill here. I would have counted that as an assist if he died. But he didn't, unfortunately. To grab or not to grab? My grab intensity is increasing. <laughs> the need to grab is intensifying. I might just go be going for a multi-way tie. If one more person dies, we're probably going for grab. I almost feel like healing default skin first. Goblin and default skin are showing to be the most biggest threat. However, neither seem to be a grabber. And the only concern when there's three left. Well, actually, if there's only a one-on-one, -on -one, we can out grab. It's kind of why we need to wait till one more to die. The problem is if it's two versus one in a grab game, we're going to lose. Or potentially lose. If they play it right, they'll easily be able to kill us, obviously. But they just want to remove the grabber from the equation. Oh, yeah, it looks like it's going to be a multi-way tie. No one's going for grabs. Aw, no one did grab on Grab Showdown. Let's play it safe. We have zero wins today. Gotta go get some wins. How badly I want to kill that Sonic, though. The amount of rage he will feel if we go for a grab kill on him would be really hilarious. I think we might play nice, though. We can't be that mean. As badly as I want to do it. <laughs> as badly as I want to do it. And it is exceedingly badly. Well, you'll be able to see your first multi-way tie. I think we've gotten one on Fall Mountain before. Gosh, how badly I want to grab him right now. We'll let him have the Sonic skin. It'll be nice. Still want to do it so badly though. Oh, 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 I'm going for outer here. Bad idea, but it still worked out. Alright, looks like we're getting a multi-way tie here. Yep, there we go. Multi-way tie. Four-way tie. We let him have his crown for Sonic. We'll be nice. Hopefully we'll get Sonic by the end of the day. And there's our victory. So that was technically zero kills, zero assists. We played nice for once on Jump Showdown. We won't play as nice next time. Mostly because half the lobby died before we even got to touch anyone. <laughs> so that's the main reason we weren't as grabby this time. Oh, there we go. Easy crown. Uh, they are changing Jump Showdown by Monday, though. They didn't die at the end. Everyone won. It just doesn't show a windscreen with everyone on the podium. It just shows one person. And it just happened to be us. But uh, it shows a random person who won. But no, all of them won. It was a four-way tie. We all get a crown. I should have killed the Sonic. <laughs> We're not going to be that mean, though. But yeah, you can have a 20-way tie on the current Jump Showdown. It's very unlikely, but it's technically possible to have 20 people get a crown on the current Jump Showdown. They're changing it on Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. They said they're doing a patch early next week that'll fix it. There was a bug in the most recent patch that made it move so slow. Or not so slow, but the, the speed of uh, of Jump Showdown that it currently is um, was not intended. Though I'm curious to see if they revamp the speed, if it'll be just like as quick at the beginning or not. Because it was somewhat slow when it first started when you were doing the other one, but it's mostly because you could RNG die 
And it was moving so slow, so it would give you at least a chance to not die to luck. Though you still could whenever it separates. I hope they code it so that never happens. You should never have a double separated uh, tile. Because if both of those go down, you die completely to RNG and you have nothing you can do about it. Uh, let's keep getting kills, deaths, assists. Well, not deaths. Let's keep getting kills and assists. <laughs> and get the occasional win. Because that's not the target. Oh, wait. I forgot to uh, increase our total crown number. Hold up. Let me go do that. Uh, total crowns, 317. That's like the most important number to update. I know, because once we have four wins today, we'll have, um, we'll be there. And we got a dragon. It's the other skin I kind of want to switch to. We'll keep him alive for now. But yeah, I can't wait till they add the other color variant of the dragon. I'm going over here so I can get a kill. Oh, I miss. Where are all the kills at? Got a grab fest over here. Ah, uh, not quite. Not quite. Okay, we're in a really safe area now. This guy's like a full-blown enemy on us now. What on earth was that lagginess? Like everyone just like teleported for a second. Oh, there's two dragons in the lobby. Come on, we don't have any kills or assists. Nice. Oh no! That would have been a kill! Oh, that would have been a kill secure. Ah, uh, no kills, no assists. Not luckily, no deaths. And luckily, there's an, uh, two other Sonics that look exactly like us, so they had no clue who we were. Actually, I was looking at the wrong Sonic. That's not even us. The other Sonic is us. Oh, never mind. There's only one other Sonic that looks exactly like us. The other one's inverted faceplate. Uh, the reason why they don't want it to keep going on forever is because it could literally keep going on forever. <laughs> Jump Showdown in every variant that has ever existed, if you play it good enough, can go on for an unlimited amount of time. It can literally go for upwards of an hour. Even the previous Jump Showdown format, though it was a lot harder to do on the previous Jump Showdown format. But on the current Jump Showdown format, it is literally possible to go for 24 hours plus. Not like anyone realistically do it, <laughs> but uh, it is possible. Okay, I think we're going to do the rod. I didn't see what the other obstacle was at the top. So we'll do the rod and then we'll move up to whatever we can kill up there. We're going to make a lot of enemies, but because we're Sonic, um, we won't make as bad as enemies. Because there's other Sonics, as long as we don't kill the other Sonics. So I gotta let the Sonics live if we can. So right here, it's mostly about delaying them. I need as many people fighting in the bottom as possible. So that delays the whole action. Okay, I need that Sonic to live. Though he's fighting me, which is rather unfortunate. Yeah, go take the other guy out. Thank you for helping me. Yeah, help me. Good, he's assisting me now. He realized we can outgrab him. So I think he gave up on trying. Aww. Uh, hopefully he's still holding the rod. Good, he's holding the rod still. Uh, I'm in an unfavorable location though if I'm right there with him. <laughs> nope! I had to drop down deliberately. Okay, we're gonna have to play this a little bit differently because he's on the rod. Uh, what's the game plan here? No! The game plan is to die! <laughs> well, at least he held the rod. He'll take over our role. I don't think we technically got any kills or assists there. Because he was on the rod getting the uh, kills and assists at the time. Aww. Aww. That hurts our KD. Uh, let's see. Let's go update our KD. Aww. I couldn't get past that one guy. I should just push him and waited there. I was concerned too many people would come at the end when it was the force to slime up, though. Ah, there we go. Let's hello start us again. So thank you, Pro Game, uh, Pro Bro. But we're at uh, 13 kills, four deaths, seven assists. We need a really good jump showdown to get kills up. 
Assists would increase mostly off of um, if we can actually play um, kills and assists can go shoot up like crazy if we can actually play uh, slime climb correctly. He was able to steal the rod from us and get all of our kills and assists, which is unfortunate. But at least someone took over the role for us. I should have just got past him and let him do it. And then countered anyone who got past. Because then we could also anti-kill him if we wanted to. Okay, that is somehow not a kill. I have no clue how that was not a kill. How on earth is he still alive? Okay, that's a kill. One kill. Come on, we need more kills. Oh, that ended so quickly. Let's go update our counter. We got a kill. 14 kills. Four deaths. Seven assists. <laughs> it still feels so weird keeping track of KDA in this game. But it works. Too bad there's not a natural tracker for it. I don't think they would ever add a natural tracker to it. Because it would encourage people to kill everyone. <laughs> Which is problematic. Because the amount of grabbers would intensify. By even more than it already is. If they made Jump Showdown infinite and kept giving extra crowns, that would be so broken. Because you could earn, um... You'd be able to earn, like, almost 10 crowns per hour then. Actually, you'd be closer to, like, 7, or whatever it is. That'd be super broken. Because our normal rate is, like, 1 to 2 crowns per hour. Uh, grip cherry water, 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 grip cherry. It would be higher if we weren't trolling so much. <laughs> grip cherry water, 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 water. Uh, apple, cherry, grape, apple, cherry, grape, apple, cherry, grape, border, 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 we're on banana. Right? I'm pretty sure we are. Yeah, we are. Aw, those don't count as our assists because we're not on the tile. Aw, that could have been a double assist. Fail. Oh well, at least we're alive. That could have been a double assist if we're on the, the other tile. That's probably the best stage for getting assists on. Since if we're on the tile and anyone falls from the tile, I count it as a kill. Or as a assist, I mean. Since we technically added to the population of the tile that made it so they couldn't get on it. Block party. But it doesn't count for not on the tile itself. Oh, so that's funny. We're invisible right there and it shows like the silhouette through the other Sonic. We only have one Sonic that looks like us, so we need to make sure he lives. We need that guy to live. His first number even starts with the same number as us. Which makes him look even more like us. As long as he visually looks like us, no, almost no one plays with name tags on. Because they're all just random numbers anyways. Unless someone really wants us dead. <laughs> they want to identify us compared to the other Sonic. Very doubtful someone would commit that much to trying to kill us though. So hopefully they'll predict wrongly and think it's the other Sonic. This stage they can keep track of us properly, but once it switches stage they won't know who it is. Also they might not know it's the half Sonic. They're still trying to earn the Sonic. We let the other guy get the Sonic, but we might not be as nice to a different half Sonic. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you tried drop killing us on uh, um, jump cancel. That does not count as our assist. We didn't touch him. Or we're close enough to contribute to it. <laughs> Four people already dead somehow. I'm counting that as an assist. Oh, that was a lot of assist if that counts. <laughs> because we did a grab that initiated all those grabs. I think that counts. That's five assists. I'm counting that. Oh gosh, we might die here though. Okay, I think we're fine. Oh, yeah, those don't count as ours. We didn't interrupt any of it. I'm counting that as five assists though. We did a grab that initiated a lot of other kills because they were tumbling and that tumble killed all the other ones. I'm not sure if what we actually killed counted as a kill though. I think it might. So that should be one kill for sis. Because I'm pretty sure the person we grabbed. It's really hard to tell though there. But I'm counting it. That's one kill for sis. Because our kill um, killed everyone else. Uh, 11. The only time I directly count a, um, a grab kill as another additional kill if it kills someone. Is if we torpedo someone literally at someone. So that can mostly only happen on... Um, on slime climb where you use someone's body to kill someone else's body by torpedoing them i will not count that on that stage because it's more so their tumbling body that killed them rather than us directly torpedoing them which requires aim oh gosh i was hesitating too long <laughs> and it killed us okay i need to grab kill this guy well it's not a kill but oh gosh i made a fall and now we're down here all right this is somewhat bad I want to get this section for myself. Okay, we can work with this. I don't believe I have the high ground, though, but we are pretty high up. Uh, no. The other guy's over there. Is an issue. Okay, what's the game plan here? He's going to eat me. Which is very unfortunate, but we can come over here. And this gives us a okay amount of tiles. I think we can even get all the way over there. Hold up, we can actually get all the way over there, I think. Until we can't. However, what we can do is cut all this off so they can't get to our area, hopefully. Yeah, there's still someone above us, though. Uh, I'm gonna get devoured. Okay, hopefully it cuts off all that, and then I can cut off him. Good, perfect. We can work with that. Problem is, he's gonna eat everything below me. Okay, now we need to start keeping track of KDA. Because we can start getting kills, potentially. There's, like, no blue below us. I'm not sure what the game plan is here. I can cut that one guy off, though I think he fell. Okay, that might have been an assist. No! That would have been the win if we could have grabbed that. Uh, I don't think they can get over here, though, can they? Okay, we have one person over here who we have to deal with. Okay, does he have more tiles than us? I believe the answer might be yes. We might have just killed ourselves. The answer is yes. I don't think we can get over to him. Oh, he just won. No! I don't think I can make that jump. And even if I can, I don't think it's going to matter. No! <laughs> yeah, we're dead. He wins. Oh, wait, he's about to run out of tiles, though. Oh, super guy. Scoop a guy won. Aw, he ate me and lost because of it. That's what you get. But yeah, we ate each other. And then scoop a guy won. It's a half Sonic. I wonder if he's still trying to get the other half. He might just be wearing it for decoration. There he goes. Very unfortunate. But yeah, that one guy who lost uh, in second place devoured us too much. I'm not sure if a guy in the kills or assists there, though. That was really hard to tell. I think I might just count it as zero. Because I don't think we directly got any kills or assists towards the end. It's really hard to tell at the later stage of that part. The only part that's really obvious is if we get like a kill from the second floor and then they die all the way to the slime pit. Because there's nothing below them on the uh, final floor. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I do need to add a death though. No! Because final does count as a death if we don't win. So we have a 3 KD right now. 15 kills, 5 uh, deaths. And 11 of them were assists. 15, 5, 11... That's still a pretty good KDA ratio. 
So that means we on average get three kills per death. Currently. I'm not even sure what would be a good KDA in this game. Because I'm pretty sure almost no one keeps track of their KDA. <laughs> Today's the first day we're bothering to. Someone grab them off. I want to grab the whole grab fest. Hello, Sonic. That's a kill! One kill. Nice. Nice quick, quick grab just to push him over a little. And it was enough. Come on, I want one more kill. Come on, one more kill, one more kill. Oh, we couldn't get it in time, but we got one kill. That was a very solid Sonic kill. Though I should be trying not to kill the Sonics. But uh, if they're in kill range, I'm killing them. As long as just one Sonic left, that looks like us. So we can camouflage with the other Sonic. And there are currently... Two other Sonics that look exactly like us, and several of them that look similar. <laughs> you think 50 0, 100 You know how hard that would be? Because that means you'd have to secure a high kill count while also winning every single round at a 100% infallible rate. Because dying on final counts as death. And also, uh, leaving a stage, I would count as death too. Like if you try cheesing a leave before, right before you die, I count that as a death. Only thing that doesn't count as a death, which counts as you losing, is uh, a disconnect. That I don't count as a death. But if you were to like leave the battle before you actually die, that still is a death. The disconnect, I'm not counting. We only had one all stream though. Okay, here's our kill count stage. I'm gonna try doing the rod again and hopefully not fail it this time. We failed the previous time we tried doing the rod. We actually got zero kill count too by the end of it. Because you don't get kill count until the very end of the rod. So even if you play it perfectly initially, if you uh, do it bad at the end, it's, uh, you just fail. And the longer you're on the rod, the more likely you are to be targeted. We can always just do the top section. You're a lot less um, to enrage all the uh, weaker players in the lobby by doing top section. The only problem with that is it normally eliminates a lot lower number. But we might be able to get a higher kill count. But it also makes it riskier because the chance of dying at top section is way higher than dying on the rod. Even though we did die on the rod the previous time, the overall chance of dying on rods is a lot lower. Right now, this is just for delay. It doesn't matter if we keep falling. We just gotta delay everyone as much as possible until the slime comes here. So we can kill as many people while we hold the rod, while the slime is up. So us falling doesn't actually mean much here if we keep falling. As long as we can secure it while the uh, while the slime is here. Okay, I have no clue how many people are behind us, but uh, hopefully we can get a good count now. That's a kill. Two kills. Three kills. Next. Okay. We got three kills. I'm taking it. Or I'll be on our way. Not risking any further. We can get more kills up here. So we got three kills. Not sure if one of those were assists, but it all looked like kills to me. Okay, let's go for five. Gotta get a five kill. Nice. No! He actually survived that somehow. Um, I count that as assist. We killed him with Intimidation. Three kills, two assists. Intimidation kills count. At least for assist, anyways. Ah, uh, he just survived or grabbed like three times now. I won't get this kill. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> I got it. I got it! <laughs> Four kills, two assists. <laughs> I'll take it. Ah, uh, I couldn't let that get by. He survived us so many times. 20 kills, 15 assists. Or sorry, um, 13 assists. I said two assists. That's four kills, two assists. There we go. Nice, four kills, slime climb. And we barely, we almost died at the end there. I had to go for the kill.
Oh, we're up to a 4 KD now, too. It'll be even higher if we can win out the entire thing. Okay, eight. We could technically get eight kills here, though it's very unlikely to get that many. Oh, I. What? I grabbed him. You heard the grab mark. I didn't grab him, though. Weird. Oh, that's bad. I think we still recover, though. Yeah, we can. Still slow enough to recover. That pink guy might be a threat. Sprinkle guy. Ah, oh, it's not moving quick enough to tumble him over. And so far, we're at zero right now. Oh, I could have grabbed for that. I wish he would have uh, stopped it a little bit earlier. Ah, uh, too early. Ah, uh, too early. Way too early. Wow, gosh. It was like a whole second and a half early. That was too early, too. No one's in a good angle to get a grab. A safe grab. That might have been, but I didn't realize he was going to stop moving. Uh, almost. It's not quite. All these grabs are way too early. Oh, that's a kill, though. One kill. Okay, we got one kill. I killed one out of eight. Uh, let's see. 21. Okay, this should go to final. We can get a lot more kills on Jump Showdown than we can on Hexagon. Hexagon is so hard to get kills on. Compared to Jump Showdown. Oh, we got Block Party before then. Hopefully we get Block Party straight into Jump Showdown then. They need higher, uh, stronger variants of Block Party. Block Party is a relatively easy stage when you have such a low number of people. When you have 20 or less for Block Party, they should intensify the... Uh, they should do something to make it harder automatically. Also, we have five Sonics in the lobby. They're not all full Sonics, though. Uh, two of them look exactly like us. Which is very good. I need to make sure we don't kill the Sonics. I think we don't go for any kills this stage. Because if we get a kill, we might accidentally kill one of the Sonics. And we need them alive for the final. I need, me I need as many Sonics that look exactly like us alive for the final as possible. Especially if we're getting Jump Club. I mean, Jump Showdown. Oh, that's funny. He's using a white knight. It's completely white with a white faceplate. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. I like the blue knight more, though, because it looks like the rest of the body's armor. And then you can make the faceplate look like your skin by doing a yellow that matches the other yellow perfectly. Wait, did he just grab? Or was I seeing things? It looked like he was going for a grab there. Is he a grabber? I heard a grab. It wasn't him that time, though. We need to know who the grabbers are for Jump Showdown. I heard a grab, but didn't see who it was. It might be one of the Sonics. I think the Tail Sonic is um, a grabber. Though we also grabbed him on the other stage, so it could just be him noticing our name tag. No, no, most people don't keep name tags on. But maybe he wanted us dead so much that he did. Oh, someone died. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, this is a harder pattern. However, with less people, it's not really that high a chance you would die. It's actually, um, this hardest pattern actually isn't hardest when you have less people. As I say that, we might find a way to die on it. <laughs> we should be fine now. Did anyone even die? Uh, one person died, that's it. <laughs> Literally one person. And I don't think we had any, uh, I don't think that was our kill. It just happened to be a death. Pretty sure we didn't contribute to it that much. Could maybe be an assist, but I'm not counting it. We didn't really do much to try to contribute to it. I was like grab spamming there, but it's mostly to stabilize ourselves. There's more so a defensive grab spam than an offensive one. It would only be offensive if we were pushing them towards the left or the right into a corner so that they would bonk on the wall and then die. Oh gosh, we got Hexagon. I want to be seeing Jump Showdown more than Hexagon. I still prefer it, even in this weaker format. Also, I believe this is our third Hexagon to stream, right? Based on our 33% win rate, hopefully we get the win. This is pretty populated. We have like 13 people here. I might try dipping down a little. Nah, we're gonna stay to the top. Okay, 
forget. We're fine. What isn't fine though is this Sonic in our way. Okay, we are devoured so hard right now. Oh gosh, we just entered the devour zone. <laughs> We're in the devour zone! Good. Not good. We're still in a devour area. Oh good, he missed. Uh, where on earth is our jump? Uh, where we have a problem. I think we just solved our problem though. Kind of, not really. Okay, I'm out of here, I need a bail. There's gonna be no tiles left. Okay, I need to grab sabotage this guy to have any chance. We gotta stay on this purple floor for as long as possible. Oh gosh, we're cornered. I gotta make that jump. Oh gosh, no. We're in the middle of nowhere. No, I couldn't get a jump there! No, we gotta kill! <laughs> Let's see, will the chicken win? He is the one who cut us off. I'm not sure which one it was. I think it was normal chicken, not jacket chicken. I think jacket chicken won. They're about to devour each other. Yeah, they devoured each other. Jacket chicken wins. Too much devouring. I should go for a lower um, strategy next. Because everyone's devouring way too much. Way, way too much. But we uh, need to go update our numbers. We got a kill and a death, unfortunately. Well, obviously, <laughs> generally you're going to be getting a death on final. Uh, let's see. Statistically, based on number of people. Uh, let me go fix the thing. So we're at 22 kills. And six deaths. Because that last one definitely counted as a kill for us. Because we cut off his path. Directly. So we're almost out of 4 KD then. Very close to it. Very, very close. Oh, so we still need to go get through more crowns. We should probably stop trolling a little bit. <laughs> That's fun to do. I still want to get it like a 10 kill jump showdown. If we'll ever loot. I have gotten it before. I'm not sure if we've done it on stream though. I'm not sure what the highest kill count we've done on stream. I think eight. Not specifically this stream though, the other one. Okay, we gotta roll out. Uh, here's a pretty good place to secure at least one kill. Problem is going for more than that makes you very vulnerable. Also, you normally want to go for the kill uh, midway through and not at the beginning. Because the amount of chaos at the beginning is very high. And you basically just have a whole graph chain at the beginning. So maybe we can join a graph chain. We just need to identify where it is and then claim part of it. There we go. That was a assist kill. That was very much an assist. I don't know. Would he count that as a kill or assist? We used the body to kill the other body. But the other guy was mostly contesting that body. So I think that's more of an assist. That's a kill. Oh, he didn't die, though. You gotta be kidding me. He actually didn't die to that. He actually did not die to that. Okay, I'm counting that as an assist. I don't think that's a kill. Uh, let's see. So we did use the body to kill the other body. I count that on Slime Climb, but that was more so his kill. So assist it is. If we killed both of them, that would have been a kill assist. But I'm pretty sure the one that actually died was the assist. Oh yeah, I didn't grab Tribute. I need to go do that. Though perfect match, even though it's a pretty idle, is not a good one to do it for. Actually, a lot of these stages aren't that good to do it for. If we get zero kills here, it'd be pretty easy to go grab. But I'm still going to try for kill. Choose the right final tile. Cherry banana, cherry banana. 
actually sounds like a good flavor for cherry banana. Cherry banana smoothie. Oh, what do we need? Uh, we got a war orange, an orange cherry, a cherry orange water. Cherry orange water, 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 and the apples right above. Any assist kills? Nope, no assists. Uh, grape banana apple uh, water, grape banana apple 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 water, orange is in top left. Any assist kills? Ah, three assists! Nice! Okay, we can go update our numbers now. Three assists! Uh, let's see, 17. Gosh, our assists are starting to go really high. Uh, what's the other thing I wanted to go do? Oh, yeah, Gems of War. Gems of the War. I'll play off Jump Club. We can almost AFK Jump Club and not die for, like, 10 seconds. <laughs> Maybe not. Kill the hot dog. Oh, yeah, we got to kill the hot dogs. I forgot. Uh, we made a commitment. Every single time we use Sonic skin, we're going for all the chili dogs. We got to go eat all the chili dogs. Also, whenever we use dragon, we got to kill the knights. And whenever we use knight, we got to kill the dragons. I'm not sure what other skin combos we can do. Those work pretty well. Oh, we got a pet active too. Do I even need that pet right now? Uh, I believe I have it maxed. Yeah, I already have it maxed. Good. Okay, Trippy has been taken. Okay, right, we got slime climb. That's good. This is a good stage for racking up kills. The only problem is uh, trying to kill on this stage is very dangerous. Hello, Barbara. Welcome. This is a very dangerous stage to try to get kills on. How many gems? I'm not sure. I think it was around 15. It was double digit. I didn't see the exact number. It was definitely double digit. With a one at the beginning. Pretty sure it was 15. 15, 14, somewhere around there. Tends to be around the average these days. I'm not sure what endgame tribute is, but I believe it's like 12 or 13 average these days. Somewhere around there. Maybe even a little higher. Okay, did we do the rod or the upper? I didn't see what the upper was because it was doing the tribute thing. I can't see it from here, I don't think. Uh, oh, we got Wrecking Balls. We're not going to bother. We're just going to delay everyone. Actually, we're in front run right now. We're not taking our first, though. I want to troll everyone. Got to go get our K and uh, kills and assists up. I want to try getting five kills and or assists this round. Okay, there's a lot of people who actually made it past this now. Okay, it's death time. Anyone who falls dies. Uh, actually, that one didn't. Okay, now everyone who falls dies. Okay, we're dying for this. We're committing to the death. We are committing to the death. One kill. Two kills. Three kills. Oh, that was more like assist. Two kills, one assist. Or sorry, what, did I say three? Was that three kills, one assist, or two kills, one assist? I think that was three and one. <gasps> no! That Sonic killed us! <laughs> okay, three kills, one assist, one death. Rip. That's what happens when you try kill counting that stage. No! Uh, three kills, one death, one assist. Aww. I should've just waited. I wasn't expecting his body to get hit like that though which hit into us which killed us <laughs> he killed us with his fail it's always the people that do bad that kill us i feel like we die more to bad players than to new players because they'll like grab lock you when they shouldn't be and kill themselves or they'll do stuff like that where they fail an obstacle and it kills you because you weren't expecting someone to fail such an easy location and then their body just comes out of nowhere and then it's like oh you're dead <laughs> yeah that sonic failing the upper half hit with us with so momentum that it pushed us to the side you've gotten three epic bulky so far nice i still haven't gotten my first one we'll get it eventually though they increased the rate by four times 
I'll be grinding some uh, while I'm eating uh, dinner for sure. Off stream. And then, of course, we'll be grinding tonight. As well as tomorrow. Also, I'm not, think I'm not sure I'm going to have a morning stream tomorrow or afternoon stream. I might just have the bigger Gems of War stream at night. Oh, no, I do not want to quit. Also, I just noticed. I've noticed that in the past, too. I believe you could do a glitch to see the course early. Which is strategic on courses where it matters. Oh, yeah, we gotta kill the hot dogs. Goodbye, hot dog. <gasps> hot dog lived! Hot dog lived! Okay, it died. Ah, we got the chili dog kill! Come on, we need more chili dog kills. We got one kill. We gotta get that higher. Is there any more chili dogs in this lobby? Sonic got to get eat up all the chili dogs. Alright, we only got one kill so far. I gotta stay on this tile just so we can go get kills. Come on, where are all the kills at? Oh, that would have been my kill! Alright, we got one kill. We got a chili dog kill. We ate the chili dog. Very tasty. Which I don't even like chili dogs, but Sonic does. So we gotta go for them. I like normal hot dogs. There we go. 26, 7, 18. Oh, so I don't think we have any chili dogs left for Sonic to eat. He's going to go starving now. Oh, yes. Another slime climb. Do we do the rod or do we do upper? If the upper is anything but wreck... If, if it, the upper is not wrecking ball, we'll do upper. If it is any... If it is wrecking ball, we'll do lower. All right, we're doing upper. Let's go front run again and... Uh, See if we can secure any kills from front runners. I'm gonna have to stay in the rods though, even though it's um, hammer, because you can bypass that little area. Like anyone who's uh, really good will bypass that area. So for their front running, they're gonna bypass us with a jump. Speaking of that, I just failed the shortcut jump. All right, they're gonna make it. Uh, I was hoping we could make it this next cycle. We might still be able to. It's rather sketchy. Oh, we got it. Gotta take the outer edge. Uh, sorry, big yellow rod. We can't take you today. We got hammers at top. It's hammer time. It is hammer time. So, so far, no kills, no assists. That's because we're rushing to the top area, and that's where we're getting all of our kills and assists at. Hello, Sonic. I've come to destroy you. As well as anyone else who wants to move in any way, in shape, or form in this area. This is a bad angle to try grabbing on. Ah, he's taking too far outer. I'll wait. I'll wait. die here. Okay, that counts as an assist. That counts as a kill. We got one kill, one assist. Anything else we want to try securing? One kill, one assist. <gasps> Almost killed myself there. Oh, we got a kill off of that. Two kills, one assist. Alright, we're just going in. Two kills, one assist. Let's update our numbers. Not the greatest slime climb, but uh, we'll take it. The reason we go up there is it's uh, pretty easy to not die when it's an obstacle that isn't uh, wrecking ball. So we did get hit by a hammer, but it wasn't like a really big hit that would have killed us. Yeah, pro crawl is really good.
All the common food for Thanksgiving, as well as um, pork roll, egg, and cheese, are probably some of my favorite. So I do get tired of eating pork roll, egg, and cheese a lot more often than I would just eggs. But normally I'm in the mood for it, especially with cinnamon. A little bit of pepper, cinnamon, and sometimes ketchup. Cinnamon ketchup's actually surprisingly good if you've never had it. Like mixing cinnamon and ketchup. Hey, right, we haven't secured any kills. Uh, next cycle we will. Banana's grabby. I kind of want to kill him so we don't have to deal with a grabber on final. However, he might also kill other people, so it might be beneficial. He might get a trap suicided by someone. Did he really just go for that? Okay, I think he died. Not because of us, but <laughs> because of something he did. I should probably kill the full banana. Could be a threat. I'm going for it. He's moving in a way that's going to be hard to grab him, though. I might have to go counterclockwise so we can grab him. Yep, got him! That's a kill! That's a kill! That's a kill if I've ever seen a kill. That's actually a really good kill, too, because that makes it easier to win final. That was a really important kill secure. Okay. Uh, only one kill, but it was probably the most important kill of this entire round. He was not expecting that, and he was playing good. So that makes final easier. Also, the really grabby banana also died. So two really big threats have been neutralized. One wasn't because of us. He just killed himself or got grab suicided by that monkey. I think that monkey might actually kill him. So that monkey might be a liability now. Because he was in a grab fight with a monkey and I think he lost. Well, he obviously lost. He died. <laughs> but I'm not sure if the monkey also died or if this is a different monkey. Oh, I don't like coffee. So that's something I don't put cinnamon on. I definitely love using cinnamon for a lot of stuff. Also, I was getting the cereal the other day, and I was like, oh, I forgot. Cinnamon Toast Crunch exists. So I got that. <laughs> no such thing as too much cinnamon. Since I can't have so many chocolates, I use, like, cinnamon as my chocolates. Which does remind me, I am actually in a bit of a chocolate mood. There's so few chocolates I can have due to a nut allergy, though. Because almost all of them are processed in a factory that I mean, contains night nuts or has like another product that uses nuts for the chocolate. Because they almost always have a night nut variant. Oh, that's the grabby monkey. He is alive. He is alive. He killed the uh, grabby banana. The grabby monkey killed the grabby banana. Died yet. Ooh, this is a really good one to get kills on with a smaller lobby. This actually has the highest death rate for smaller lobbies. Ah, uh, no one extra died. Only one person, and I don't think we were contributing to it. Yeah, I eat Cinnamon Toast Crunch as a snack now. Started about a week ago. I almost forgot it even exists. It's like, oh yeah, the cereal is the thing. I've been trying to shop as minimally as possible. I think I still have like three whole boxes of it left. <laughs> Actually, I have one by my bed. <laughs> I was like literally snacking before bed. It's like, oh, okay, might as well. It's good. Okay, we got Jump Showdown. The best one to win and the best one to go get kill count on. Actually, I believe our only win today is actually on Jump Showdown as well. Go figure. It was actually a multi-way tie, too, because we weren't grabby. Of course, the only win we have is the one where we didn't decide to go for a grab final. We didn't do grab showdown on it. We actually won without grabbing. It was a five-way tie. We won't be that nice this time, though. We are not going to be that nice this time. There's so few people. We can actually start already going and securing kills if we want. I'm 
so tempted to go for the grab here. Ah, oh, the body blocked him, though. And now we know where he's a grabber. Okay, we really have to intensify our grabbing then. <gasps> no! How close that was. To almost death. No! No! We're actually the first one eliminated. That's a fail. Oh, and then we lagged. No! We might not even get our kudos now. Because they can't code a game properly. Because mashing out of it does this sometimes. <laughs> well, they killed everyone! <laughs> does that count as seven kills? <laughs> that doesn't count. A fail is strong. Fix your game. We're just watching Half Sonic randomly fall forever. Fix your game already. Oh, there goes over our kudos. Rip. Because they never... It says you'll get your rewards. They never come. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's go update our number. Uh, we unfortunately got no kills. And one death. We were too grabby too early. I was trying to go under when the thing rod was coming. For the grab. We're still at a uh, 4KD, though. Or, sorry, 3KD. Wait. Yeah, we're almost at 4KD. I need five more kills without a death to get a uh, 4KD. So we're at about 3.5. And we're at about a two assist. So if you break it down to value, we're at about 3.5 kills, one death, uh, um, 2.5, or two assists ratio, it looks like. Like 3.5 kills, one death, and 2.5 assists. That means we get about 3.5 kills and 2.5 assists per death, currently. Which isn't too bad. Because that means we're winning out at least um, 3 out of 4 of the uh, uh, battles we initiate. We get a kill out of. Every battle we have initiated, we win about 3.5 out of every 4. Or sorry, 3 out of every 4. Wait, what was the number? It was, um... Yeah, no. Map. <laughs> uh, it's, um... Yeah, we win at 3 out of every 4. We're winning 3 out of every 4 uh, engagements. Without dying. As we almost die. But no one died there. We survived, but we also didn't get a kill. No! Yes! Why did that not connect on the grab? That was weird. Anyway, we haven't gotten any kills, no assists, and obviously we haven't died. So, a really tame uh, rollout today. Or this round, anyways. Oh gosh, someone's gonna die here. Okay, we got one kill. I told you someone was dying. Okay, we only got one kill, but it's a pretty safe kill. There we go. 30 kills, 8 deaths, 19 assists. We have to do this every single time Slime Survivor's around. See how long we can go in a stream and see what our KDA is by the end of it. So we're going to do at least one or two normal rounds, so I'm not going to count our KDA towards those rounds. Because they increase the chance of finding, um, of finding, uh, what's it called? Uh, they increase the chance of finding, um, wow, I cannot remember what it's called. Uh, the medieval stages. 
they end up increasing that. Oh gosh, well we found that jump. I'm not gonna do it again, we're gonna die if we do. Also, here's a pretty good place to try to get kills. Uh, no, I didn't get a kill. I almost got an assist in a sense though. <gasps> oh, I tried going for the kill there. Ah, uh, I failed though. I didn't get it. It's a really risky area to go for. I almost got it. I'm just gonna go around. It's like the first time I went around in ages. The intended method that no one actually does. <laughs> Hey, am I doing the rod or not? Yeah, why not? The slime's pretty high up. I use the death of slime is about to come. Okay. Uh, if it is wait a little bit longer, every single person who comes will die. Uh, looks like one kill to me. Nope, no kills yet. I can't even tell. Like I'm risking it. Is he gonna come for me? I need to jump over his head if he even moves in this direction. I'm going for this kill. Oh, he actually got past me. <gasps> Ooh, I almost died myself. I'm not sure if I killed anyone, but um, two people fell that I'm counting as kills because they fell and then were dead and they couldn't get past us and they died in the pit. So that should be two kills, it looks like. I'm not sure if that's two or three. I kind of lost count there. I'm pretty sure that was two kills. He's hesitant because he knows I'm going for the grab. Yeah, he knew. He knew. Oh, I might be dead here. I might actually be dead from that. No, I'm not. I refuse. <laughs> I refuse to take that death. Does that count as assist on that other guy? I'm not sure. I might count it. Two kills, one assist. Please, we kind of blocked his path with our body. I'll count it. Two kills, one assist. I'm counting it. Assists are extremely subjective. <laughs> Churro cereal? That sounds pretty good. I never actually heard of it. Or seen it. Oh, that might be why. I don't have a Costco membership thingy. Are they in normal stores? I've never actually seen it before. I've bought in churros. Like actual physical churros at a Costco before. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. Is it in other, any other stores? I've actually never seen churro cereal. Yeah, Costco churros are good. Like the actual ones that they sell at the little thing. I'm not sure if every place has one, but I've well, almost every Costco I've been to has had a little like a uh, eatery place. They normally have churros going. I haven't had a churros membership for like a decade. And it wasn't even me, it was <laughs> someone else in the family and we're just like using it. The problem is the closest Costco is not in walking distance from my place. I generally only shop at places that are in walking distance. Since I don't have a car. Oh gosh, that almost killed me. Is that the egg grabbed us? Oh yeah, I should probably kill the beta tester. I always like trying to eliminate the beta testers. Mostly because they didn't make it so everyone could have the skin. There's no way to get it unless you beta tested. And they are sometimes the biggest threats because theoretically the beta testers should be the strongest ones. In the sense that they've been playing the game longer than anyone. So they statistically should be the strongest in any lobby. Okay, it's going to be really hard to keep track of kills, assists, and everything here. Oh gosh, we're going to die here. We're already dead. We're already dead! I can't get back up! I'm not sure how many assists we count that as, though. <laughs> that looked like about three assists to me. Though we also died, unfortunately. So that's like one death, three assists. Even though our body hit them, I don't count that exactly as a kill. I guess it's their body that's kind of killing us. Or, you know, they it's us tumbling, but someone else killed us. So it doesn't really count as a kill. Oh, there we go.
So it does count as assist. Because we let it or death. <laughs> so what's our KDA at then? We're at uh, 32, 9, 28. Or 23, I mean. So it looks like we're going to end at about a 3, 1, 2. Three kill, uh, for every one death, we get three kills and two uh, assists. That's not too bad. Could be better, though. It would also spike up exponentially if we actually keep getting Jump Showdown. They only won win today. We've been trolling so much, we didn't even get a win this hour. I've been overly trolling. Because we're grabbing literally every stage. There's been like almost no stage we did zero grabs on. I'll keep an eye out for it. I haven't seen it though. You keep getting stung every night by scorpions. Uh, you have to keep moving towards them slowly. Like as soon as they raise up and start like doing their thing. Stop moving. And then just keep inching closer to them with uh, net. And then stop moving every single time they move up. There's also a run strategy, but your island has so much going on, I'm not sure you can use the run strategy. Unless you're finding one on a Nook Mile Ticket Island. Running strategy is a lot harder, but it catches them a lot quicker. Yeah, once they start chasing you, they're never going to stop chasing you. At that point, you have to use the running strategy to catch them. Because they won't stop chasing you once they start. They can make it so they never start chasing you. Oh, gosh. I almost died there. Oh, uh, that's an assist, though. That is 100% an assist. And that's a kill. One kill, one assist. I'll take it. Let's update our numbers. Uh, KDA, 33 kills. 24 assists. There we go. Slime climb. Try getting kills here. Uh, we're not going to. It was really risky the last time we did it. Sometimes worth it if you're really far behind at a given moment, though. You would have killed so many people who aren't expecting someone to contest the area. Because normally the people don't start contesting until as early as the uh, rod right up there. That's normally the earliest location. But you can actually contest all the way at the lower area, though it's really high risk. But every grab to kill there. Right, we're going to make an enemy of the whole lobby. We're still using Sonic skin, so we're allowed to be as uh, combative as we want. Or someone else would do the rod with us. Okay, slime time almost. Okay, good. The Sonic's got by us. Good. We got a Oh, we almost got a kill. One kill. Anyone else over there? Ah, uh, they're all still alive. We only got one kill so far. 
Okay, they're both grabbing me. Might not matter though. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Yes, two kills. Three kills because the other guy died who was over there. That's more of an assist though, isn't it? Oh, well, we still made him fall off the initial time. Some count as a kill. That's three kills. Okay, we can kill this guy too. Should I wait? It's risky to wait. That's three kills. Oh, I'm not going to be able to kill this guy though. Three kills, one assist. Or sorry, I have four kills. I'm counting the other one as a kill. Oh, that's not what I wanted. That works, though. So I'm just counting as four kills. Oh, that's such an easy kill. There, he moved. All right, four kills. I'm counting it. Because we made him fall down there, and he ultimately died, so that's still a kill. We at one point touched him, and it led him to hitting slime. 37 kills. Four and one slime climb. I wish it would go straight to Jump Showdown right now. It's not going to, though. It's going to go to, like, Jump Club or something. Oh, we're Block Party. Actually, didn't we die on a Block Party earlier? Oh, yeah, it was the side ones. Actually, that was our most recent death, unfortunately. Yeah, the side ones, if, if you get hit on the wall, you're already dead. You're as good as dead on it. Almost did that forward, that would have been a gigantic fail. Not quite. Did I kill him? No, not quite. Close though. Oh, he wants to be dead now. I just need to blend in with the other Sonics and I'll never know who's me. I don't think he knows who's me now. So many Sonics we could just blend in with camouflage. It doesn't look like it, but uh, Sonic is a camouflage skin for the next, like, week. <laughs> and has been for the last few days. No one knows who you are. Most likely. He's so grabby. He might be grabbing other Sonics now, thinking it's us. Oh no, again, once we grab him. I see his name tag on. Oh gosh. We gotta eliminate him here. He's gonna know. I don't think any of those were our kills. No kills for this rounds. But we didn't die this time. Mostly because we weren't as offensive. We were with that one guy, but we didn't ultimately secure him, I don't think. Pretty sure he's still alive. There's enough Sonics to probably not know who we were. Yeah, only a cactus died at the end and some other one. Hey, this should be final. Either 14 or, uh, or oh, no, no, it's Jump Club. At least this eliminates it down to, like, 8 or so. Also, we can get more kills, hopefully, on this stage. I don't think we've died on Jump Club today, have we? Even how offensive we've been on it lately. Oh, yeah, we need to go kill him. Though, if I try doing it, he's going to know who we are. Maybe I don't initially, so he doesn't know which Sonic we are. <gasps> I almost just got killed with a jump. That was a vicious jump. Oh yeah, I can actually try killing people that way, I forgot. You can do this, and then jump kill someone. If they try jumping over the rod. Oh gosh, I, that might have almost killed me. <gasps> it might! I can't get a jump! 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 I can't get a jump or dive. Let me up! That might have actually killed us! No way are we alive! <laughs> What even? The other person who hit us put us in like a tumbling state and it lasts almost like forever with the push. But somehow we lived. Okay, I gotta kill out this one guy. He's gonna be too big of a threat on the final. Especially with how much we've already preemptively grabbed him. 
Ah, uh, he's not dead, and he knows which one we are, I think. If we move far enough away, he might not. We'll eventually catch back up with him. Okay, we caught back up with him. Ah, no. How are you not dead? How on earth is he not dead? Also, I don't think we've gotten any kills yet. I want it so badly, though. You don't know how badly I want that kill. He's not making this easy on us. Gosh, he's not dead. Someone else died, though. I'm not sure if that was assist. Did our hit get hit by the hit? I'm not sure what happened there. I'm not sure if I count that as assist. Hard to tell. I'm watching a replay of it right now. Uh, let's see. We grabbed. Yes, that's our assist. Our grab torpedoed him and he died. Okay, we need to add one assist to our number. Or we'll do it after Hexagon. Because obviously we can't do it now. Because we got Hexagon! We got a hexagon. Uh, I can't make it much further than that. Just gotta devour you. I gotta go for the grab. Nice. Too bad it's not a kill grab, but it's definitely a good secure. So we can then choose where we want to go. Okay, you need to devour that other section. Oh, I didn't successfully grab him. I made him drop a floor, though. I did make him drop a floor. Oh, he actually uh, suicided on us. Or not really, but he, uh, he went down and then was like, Oop. Yep. Oh, that was almost a kill. Close. Just keeping an eye on it. Okay, what's your strategy here? There's one or two people below. This looks like two. The only problem is we might get devoured over here because there's someone above us. Just gonna cut off this path and uh, hopefully they don't devour us too hard. I have to let them devour us. Okay, we have to fight that person. There's nothing we can do but fight. There's two people actually. They're both above us and they're about to take all this real estate. We gotta be ready to run. We could try cutting them off though. Oh, there's one of them. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to deal with the other guy. There's still a way to get over there though. We want. Okay, he's devouring everything below us, and there is no other section now. Uh, what's the game plan here? I'm leaving these tiles open so we have options. Yeah, he's going and taking that from me. Ah, uh, I saw that coming. Hello, other Sonic. Oh gosh, we're all devouring it together. I think they left me with this whole section, though. Where do I want to go, though? Is the question. Okay, he has a ton of real estate over there. I don't think anyone's contesting him on it either. I think we ran out of space. I don't think we can reach him. He's too much real estate. Unless someone's attacking him. There better be someone above his head. Oh, there was, but he didn't make it. No. That's bad. Can I even make it all the way over there? I don't think I can. He has too much real estate. Yeah, it's not possible. I should have went over to the side and just hope he couldn't do it the whole time. Because I don't think this is possible. Nope. Wait, where's the other guy? Uh, oh! Ah, oh, I should have, because they wanted to devour each other if we could have lived a little bit longer. Ah, oh, Sonic's still one, though. Ah. Uh, also, I don't think we got any kills or assists that match, but uh, we do need to go out of death. And we got an assist the previous match I didn't add, so we need to go do that, too. All right, there we go. <laughs> uh, that's just so weird. Let's go back to normal show. We haven't done a normal show all day. I'm not going to keep track of uh, KD during a normal show, though. Let's go change our outfit back to the dragon. And go do a normal show. Actually, I think the other two are already set correctly. Let me just go change my upper and lower. It's dragon time. Oh, yeah, my face is also not correct. Uh, where's Golden Dragon? Gotta go get our wins. We're not going to troll as much in these. Though we might still if we have a chance. Uh, where's my faceplate? There it is. Okay. Okay, right, let's go back to playing normally. <laughs> For at least a show or two. We haven't done any of the main show. They have a higher chance of, um, 
Let me go out my uh, def and assist from the previous round. We're not going to keep track of defs and assists for a normal round, though. We're only keeping track of it for slime climb. I mean, for slime survivors. But um, there's where it's currently at. It is 37, 10, 25. We'll do some more of it a little bit later during the stream, though. But I want to get at least a few normal rounds in. Uh, the main thing that they changed with normal rounds uh, since last stream is there's a higher chance of finding the medieval themes. So hopefully our very first round will be the medieval race. And most team games will hopefully be Egg Siege. Egg Siege is actually pretty fun. Only problem is whoever gets a lead at first tends to hold the lead. That's not always the case. Yep, and there it is, Night Fever. We should be seeing Night Fever almost as every first round due to the changes that they made. All medieval uh, maps have a higher chance of occurring. By what margin? I'm not exactly sure. I haven't played too much of it since the release. I think I only played like one or two rounds, but it definitely does increase the amount that you see in medieval stages. Yeah, there's no medieval tail tag. They might add one, but I highly doubt it. Ow. Ow. I got herded. We've got herded! Okay, I'm not keeping track of KDA here, so we're not going to be grabbing. We'll play nice. Well, unless we absolutely have to for kill secure. Also, the lobby should be easier. I assume mostly better players are playing uh, slime survivors right now. So these lobbies should actually be somewhat easier. Because all the harder players will be in Slime Survivor. Because they're generally harder maps. Compared to the uh, normal show. At least Slime Survivor is anyways. Do I like uh, beef burgers or mashed potatoes more? They're used for kind of different things, but I probably have to say mashed potatoes. Although both of those two foods tends to get used for different things. Like a burger would normally be a meal, whereas um, potatoes would obviously be like a side thing for a meal. But I would say mashed potatoes are better. Actually, I haven't had a burger for almost a year now. Despite having mashed potatoes probably every month. And the main reason for that is I actually quit fast food um, for almost a year now. And I don't bother making burgers at home. I did make meatloaf the other day. Which I guess is kind of a burger. <laughs> Not really, though. Different form factor. Yeah, everyone loves mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes are great. Especially, like, garlic mashed potatoes. I also synergize with so many foods. Yeah, the other thing that might change your data some is some people are vegan. And while I'm not vegan, I do tend to eat meat relatively minimally. I still eat meat, though, obviously, but, um... I, uh, probably compared to a normal person, I eat a bit less meat. But, uh, there are a lot of people who are vegan or vegetarian that don't eat any meat at all. Which could skew your data. Because, obviously, anyone who doesn't eat meat will say potatoes. Oh yeah, Parmesan cheese on- yeah, there's so many things you can do with potato, they're amazing. And you're feeling really lazy, I just love doing ketchup for them. I know some might seem weird to some people, but um, if you haven't tried it yet, potato with ketchup. If you're lazy and you don't want to do more to it, it's, it's pretty good. Or if you don't have any other ingredients around, <laughs> you can use them all.
Am I hungry now? Yes. <laughs> and now I, I'm, it's, it's kind of funny because I don't have mashed potatoes or uh, any meat in the house. I was going to have uh, fish tonight. Fish with fries. Which I guess is technically a potato, but it's not mashed potatoes. Yeah, I've been in a flounder mood lately. Though my favorite fish is probably crab. So tilapia is something I haven't had for a very long time. Oh, there's actually some tilapia fishing near me, so they're normally pretty fresh. I'm not sure how much they're really fishing during uh, the virus. I assume it's still somewhat normal amounts. Because you're pretty packed when you're on a boat. Good. My ring. I've come to steal this ring from you. I lied. I came for the gold ring. <laughs> no! How did I fail that? No! Okay, we gotta be careful. We can actually lose this. Also, we're gonna be getting Hoopsie Daisy a lot, so we definitely need to make sure we... Actually, I've only lost Hoopsie Daisy once, ever. Oh, gosh. Well, it's gonna be more if I keep doing that fail. Okay, you know what? I'm just moving this over. Give us two options to get up. I don't even have my starter ring. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, I couldn't get the uh, boost jump. Okay, I can still get this. I just need this guy to move. If he could fail real quick, that'd be great. I want him to move so I can go get... No, I failed. Oh, come on. I need everyone to move off this tile and I can get it. Come on, I need everyone to move off this tile. I can speed boost into it if no one's right in front of me. I need everyone to go fail jump. Good. Got it. Oh, dear. Okay, let's go get our default ring. I got our gold, but I haven't gotten my uh, other score yet. There we go. Most people don't bother going for that boost. Yeah, garlic mashed potatoes are amazing. Actually, there's a, a, a restaurant by me that I absolutely love it from. Because they have a crab cake with um, garlic mashed potatoes special thing. And it's such a good combo. Um, what's it called? Um, bonefish grill. I'm not sure every state that they're in. Also, I don't think they're international. But uh, the two states I've lived in, they've been in. <laughs> they're in South Carolina as well as in uh, New Jersey. However, I'm not sure what other states they're in. It's definitely not every state. It's a really small chain, but it's absolutely amazing. It's more of like a mid-price chain. Like you eat there, you're probably going to spend like 20, 30 bucks. So it's not like super high end, but uh, it's, it's pretty good. Really good service. Great atmosphere. I know, I'm so hungry now with all this food talk. We'll probably end in another hour or two for dinner. Because I still need to prep it all. And the fries take a while. Uh, but Maryland has so many better choices than Bonefish at that point, though. Like, there's so many good crab cake places. I don't drive, but anytime I'm with anyone in Maryland, there are so many good crab cake places in Maryland. Also, we're in dead line. Oh, no, we're not. Blue's uh, behind us. Yeah, one of my favorite meals is just crab cakes with potatoes, so it works out well. The other thing I'd probably use potatoes for is, um, like, the traditional, like, Thanksgiving kind of dinner thing. Also, we have a problem. We're actually behind right now. Our ball is not moving anywhere near as quick as Blue's ball. And it's about to be blocked. We actually just lost a team game. Though, what's new? <laughs> what's new? Our team always throws. This is why we stick to slime survivors. <laughs> That's pretty fitting, though. The very first time we switch out of slime survivors... And it's like, yep, you're going to lose to a team game. Why would we lose by any other way? <laughs> the second we don't do Slime Survivors, we die to team game.
There's no other way that would go. <laughs> oh, why? I have to switch back. And once we do, we need to keep track of our KDA again. Ten crab cakes for seven dollars is pretty reasonable. That is actually pretty good value. Well, it depends how uh, small or big they are. If they're like little dime-sized ones, then I guess that kind of makes sense. Normally when I think of a crab cake, I think like around 5 inch, 6 inch uh, circumference. Somewhere around there. Like almost half a foot circle. But some crab cakes are made like super small. Like an inch or two. first place. Uh, can we take middle bridge? Uh, no. But I can cut over to the left. And we're in for first. Oh, so it ends up being $16. That's still not too bad. $16 for seven crap cakes. It's cheaper doing it yourself, but um, it's already ready to go and everything. That's not too bad still. Well, it depends on the size of crab cakes and how good they actually are. That's not too bad. I would pay that. <laughs> what? That's our second disconnect today. Why? It really just does not want us to play the main show. <laughs> the game does not want us to play the main show today. Yeah, I live right on the water, too. So a lot of seafood's a lot cheaper here. I've actually never not lived on the water. I've always lived on the East Coast United States. Actually, I only ever left uh, the Eastern Standard Time time zone uh, last year when I went to visit a friend in Chicago. But uh, prior to then, I've actually never left Eastern Standard Time zone. And I've always been, like, pretty much right on the water or pretty close to it. Right now, I'm pretty much right on the water. Not literally on it, but uh, if you stand on my roof, you could pretty much see the beach. If there weren't buildings in the way. It's that close. It's like a half a mile away? A mile? I'm not sure. Exact distance. It takes, like, 5-10 minutes to walk there. Depends on traffic, because you have to pass two major roads. I assume virus isn't too... I mean, um, the traffic isn't too bad because of the virus. So I haven't actually been down that way. Like, there's none of the food areas are that way. It's mostly just hotels and other stuff. And the beach. So I haven't actually walked there since the virus. I try not to go out that much. My state's been, like, one of the worst for it. Relative to population. Because this area doesn't have that big of a population. But it has so much tourism that um, the virus amount is high in the area. Because the whole economy of Myrtle Beach is pretty much, uh, is pretty much um, tourism. And not having that is uh, <laughs> pretty detrimental to the local economy. Uh, I can't pass him. He's not in grab range. I can't take the first. No! That's our first. Yeah, hurricanes are awful. Luckily, we finally had a year with no hurricanes in my area. And hurricane season's pretty much over. So we managed to dodge uh, hurricanes this time around. Which is good. 
hurricane season's not completely over yet, though. But we've managed to go um, with no hurricanes. We had three really bad ones in the past. Well, not really bad ones, but enough to evacuate. This is the first year in four years where we didn't have to evacuate, which is good because we don't have to deal with the virus. And because then we'd have to be in some hotel like miles away. And then in a cramped car with a bunch of people. I did not want to abandon. From 58 down to 42. I think we had a full lobby. And the other two just left early. But all this food talk has made me so hungry for food now. <laughs> we might end after a couple rounds and go eat. You guys made me too hungry for food. I didn't eat anything yet today. It's already 3 p.m. We'll probably do another slime or survivor or two after this and then uh, end it. But I gotta play through at least one normal set, which is what we're doing right now. He's trying to sell toilet paper, that's funny. I have no clue why people bought so much toilet paper. I at no point ran out of toilet paper. Or even came close to running out of toilet paper. How do you make your pork roll? I normally just do it up in a pan. A little bit of butter and cinnamon. Uh, I normally cut a little bit of edges so it doesn't like make a little bubble. So it goes evenly. And that's about it. Maybe a little bit of pepper sometimes, salt, sea salt. I normally use this normal salt though. Sea salt, while I do like it for some things, it's you don't want to like crunch on something softer. It depends what else I'm using it with. If it's a pork roll I can cheese, I'll normally use normal salt though. Also, if I'm using cinnamon, I normally won't use any salt. <laughs> Otherwise, it depends which way I'm doing it. But if it's more pork black and cheese, um, I normally do go the cinnamon route because it's a nice um, bit of flavor for breakfast. It depends if I'm doing it more so for like a, um, if I'm doing it for breakfast or dinner would basically determine how I prep it. <laughs> but it's pretty simple food to do. Same as eggs. Like everything to make a pork black and cheese is super simple. I don't even cook that much and I never mess it up. Uh, do you use spam? No. I do not. Butter's normally enough. Oh, what crap happened to this tile? I kind of want that other tile. Because no one's going to contest it. As I... Someone's contesting me. Oh, no! He ate my jump! No, oh, my jump got eaten. He devoured my jump. I think we can still get this, though. Got it. Ha! He grabbed me right back into it. Okay, where's the gold ring? Where's the gold ring? I don't see any gold rings. Oh, it's over there. Uh, do we contest the gold ring? I think we do. We need to angle this properly. I need to angle it properly so I can get the jump. No, stop it. Stop it. Stop it! I want the angle correct. No. I won't let you. Okay, good. This one's angled correctly. Aww. They got it from the upper. Okay, let's get back to middle. These gold rings can start spawning here again. Okay, where on earth is a gold ring? Oh, it's over there. Oh, gosh. We're all fighting over it. No. Yeah, I had a feeling they'd grab it. Okay. Uh, we need to get to middle. Why is that tile not moving? Okay, gold ring's over there. Oh, gosh. The gold ring's already set up. Uh, we can't get a speed boost over there. He's gonna steal it. He better miss the first try. Good. He missed. It's ours. Got it. There we go. Our gold ring. You're so used to watching at 1.75 speed. Ha <laughs> ha. That's kind of funny.
Gosh, how many people are going to fight over that ring? Uh, that is actually possible. But you would need, like, no one on the platform to reach. Oh, he actually got it. He actually got it. Oh, someone's going to get that one. Oh, that hurts. He fell right off. Oh, he has zero points. What's he doing? Okay, this guy just has to get a gold ring. He only has one point. There's no way you can get it with normal score. He has to try contesting a gold ring. Oh, he got it. Oh, no, he didn't. Why didn't you jump? That was yours. That was yours. Yeah, he has to go gold ring hunting. And he realizes that. He has it if this guy misses. Yep, he got it. Unless he fails miserably. Okay, he got it. Yeah, he was the last qualify as well. Did I get an epic key yet? No. Hopefully soon. We'll be farming a decent amount tomorrow. Uh, I mean tonight. As well as tomorrow. But nope, still haven't seen the epic Valky. Also be uh, doing it some off stream while I'm eating and prepping the food. Which I'll be doing right after the stream. Probably do one more of this round. Do one more uh, slime survivors. I'll probably call it a wrap. Well, that should still take us like half an hour. Also, I'm not keeping track of kills, deaths, or assists on the normal game mode. I'm only keeping track of it on Slime Climb. I mean, on Slime Survivors, I mean. So the next time we stream it, while we still have that show, we definitely need to make sure we uh, keep track of kills and everything. Oh, I thought we could make that. Oh, all it does is loop into itself. That path is completely pointless. Okay, that tile got confirmed, so going left here is probably real. Yes, it is. Oh, gosh. They might find it before us. They should both be real, though. Okay, one forward is definitely real. I'm not sure why they're not moving. There we go. Uh, Not all the way forward, I don't believe. That's a fake. Okay, somewhere's around here. I have no clue where, though. Okay, it's not there. It's not there. There it is. Okay, we should be fine. Let's fall by. I need to go try to grab tribute. We can do so after this final. What do we have? What do we have? Ah, Fall Mountain. Hey, the first False Mountain of the stream. Because we were playing the other game mode. The other two are way better, though. Well, good to see some variation. Oh, we have no obstacles at the front uh, end. You have to front run. If you don't front run, you lose. Because there's nothing to stop them once they get to the end. Okay, we're front running right side currently. That's a good sign. <gasps> no! Why would you power shot like that? I'm taking a risky move. We're going for the shortcut here. Oh, gosh. We're not going to be able to make it. Okay, we barely made it. I don't think that was worth it, though. Yeah, we lost. It's over already. And there's nothing to stop them at the end either. This is completely over. There's no recovering from that. Especially after that. There's no recovery. Oh, good. The crown cycle. Come on, grab him, grab him, grab him, grab him. No, why would you not grab him? Why did the Sonic just stand there? <laughs> the Sonic was just standing there like, nope. We could have made it if they got no grab fight. That would have been ours. So close. I'm not sure what that Sonic was doing. He was just standing there watching the crown go right before his eyes. He wasn't moving or anything, even though he was there first. Very strange. Okay, let's go back to Slime Survivors. We'll keep the dragon, though. Instead of switching back to Sonic. This is probably the last round we do. I and mean, we're going to keep track of Kalo's deaths and assists and see what our final total comes out to. Um, I didn't update the kill count because uh, we're not doing it for the normal show. We're only doing it for uh, Slime Survivors. We are only counting Slime Survivors. I know, I'm taking a tribute right now. But I don't think we're going to have enough time. Roll out. Go slower. Roll out. So go slower. Loading screen. Keep loading. Oh, we might die here. We can always restart the round real quick. Uh, how many gems did we get? We got 16 gems. Okay. We somehow did not die. Not sure how that happens. Whoo! Okay, that's a kill. 
That's a kill. One kill. Oh, I was gonna go kill the guy with the little hat thing. One kill. Almost two kills. But only one kill. Oh, this is a tile we can't kill on. Let's go to a kill a tile. Oh! We got a, a chili dog we gotta go kill. We're, oh, wait. We're not Sonic right now. We don't have to kill the chili dogs. I just gotta kill the knights. Uh, let me go update my kill counter. We gotta kill. 38. But yeah, it looks like we if we win this round, we can finish with a 4 KD. Especially if we get Slime Climb and or um, Jump Showdown. Those are the highest two with, for kills. By far, it's not even close. Oh, perfect. We got Slime Climb. But yeah, we're going to keep playing until we get one more final. We'll talk of food. It's going to take a while. It's not something that's instant. Oh gosh. <gasps> no! They killed me by hurting me. I was trying to go back, but then they pushed me forward. No, I should have moved forward. That's very unfortunate. Uh, let's see. It's going to ruin our KD. Why would you do that? I was trying to stay back and kill people. <laughs> but the herd pushed me forward. I hate when that happens. The herd pushed us forward. Oh, wait, we got a kill. Hold up. That got a kill, though. I need to update my kills. Because uh, we were basically killing the other guy when we did that. Unintentionally, but uh, he was the one who killed us, the green guy. It's always the noobs. Uh, because he was in almost default skin. Not exactly default skin, but uh, definitely something most players wouldn't be wearing. Unless they were new. The new players killed us again. It's always the newest players that kill us. Like, the best player in the game isn't even as intimidating as a newer player. Just because they make such really weird moves that you would never expect. Whereas good players will never suicide like that, generally. <laughs> Until we did. But I wasn't trying to kill him, it was because he was in our way. Oh, he actually got by with a jump. That's a kill. Hey, we got one kill. Come on, one more kill. Want to see a nice grab confirm? Nope. Ah, oh, only one. I'll take it, though. Brings us to 40 kills. Oh, nice. Slime climb. Redemption time. Okay, can we not get killed by someone trying to kill us then? Alright, they weren't even trying to kill us. They were just moving forward and doing it in a way that killed us. Well, we still got the kill on them too, at least. Oh, good. We got rods. Let's do the upper section. Rods are fun. There's a lot of weird shenanigans you can do with them, though. You can still die on them pretty easily. There's a lot of safe area. Okay, we gotta kill this default skin. He's too dangerous. He's not real. There's so many fake default skins lately. This key mode is littered with them. And there's no way they're bots because uh, they could never program a bot to be that good. But we've been seeing a lot of really good default skins lately. Yeah, he's in second place right now. We're not claiming our first though. We've come to eliminate the default skin. I was going to expect it, though, for just standing up there. I should almost, like, fall and fail deliberately. It looks like he's taking a shortcut. No, he's not taking any other shortcut. Okay, we'll uh, camp over here, I guess. Oops. <laughs> a fail. The fail is very strong. Nope, nope. 
kill. Nope. <laughs> I'll get this to work. You're dead. You're dead. You're somehow not dead. Right, let's go for the safest kill area. Okay, that's a assist. That would have been a kill if he fell. Could still be if he tumbles all the way over. How's he not dead yet? <laughs> Earth is he not dead? I'm being double grabbed. So I have one assist only so far. I haven't actually secured a kill, surprisingly. There we go. Aw, oh, he lived. Okay, I'm at disadvantage. Oh, I did get the kill, but we have to die for it. <laughs> Worth it. That was funny. I wasn't expecting him to hold so long. I thought we could make that jump, but he kept holding. And I wanted to get the bounce on it. Very unfortunate. Uh, but that's one of everything. That's uh, another kill. That's another death. And that's another assist. 41, 12, 26 is our KD. Let's get to one more final. Maybe we need to troll a little bit less. <laughs> Just slightly less. Because I want to try getting a 4 KD end. Like a 4 1 uh, 3. That'd be amazing if we can end on 4 1 3. No, we'd need way too many assists to hit 3 on that. So we're going to hit like a 4 1 2.5, it looks like, by the end of this. A 4 1 2.5. That's still pretty solid. Oh yeah, we would need a 48 kill count then. We need to get 7 kills and not die. I think we could manage. If we get Jump Showdown as a final, we could definitely do it. Jump Showdown alone can give 7 kills with no deaths. <laughs> if you do it right. You can get even uh, around 10. Even more than 10. Theoretically, you could get up to 19. If you had a full lobby and you somehow killed every single person. That's very unlikely though. Realistically, about 12 is the highest you would ever get. <laughs> we had a grab chain. <laughs> we got stuck in a grab chain. Fail. Oh, that's going to ruin our KD. Rippity. That was funny. There was like four people all chained together grabbing each other. I mean, somehow I didn't get a kill out of it. That tends to happen a lot when you have like 60 people or so on uh, the first round of it. We got to take safer kills if we're going to go for kills. Otherwise, everyone just herds on you with a gigantic chain of pushing. And whoever is at the uh, furthest part closest to the edge at the, of the chain is dead. I feel like our average rollout kill count has been two. Two kills for the rounds. It is possible to get upwards of five, though. It's really hard when you have that many people starting off. It's actually easier to get six kill count on the uh, second or third level version of it than it is on the first version of it. Does splash damage of coins mean I killed a gnome? I'm not sure what you mean by splash of coins. Splash of coins. I'm not sure what you mean. There's a 400 gold drop right now for using the glory trip this week. Though I don't think you would have that on your team. But the gnomes do drop coins. Or gold, I mean. I 
Oh, I almost killed. Still not too late to get a kill. Oh, did we get assist on the other guy? No, he jumped over. That wasn't the assist. Because our intimidation would have killed him. Which counts as assists. Oh, if he didn't grab block with us, we could have killed him there. <gasps> Ooh, that was sketchy. That was very sketchy. Gosh, the amount of grabs going on here. It's very high. We don't have any kills or assists, though, yet. Oh, that was almost a kill. Very close. <gasps> Ooh, yes! We got a kill. That counts. That's a kill. We got a kill by the end. He tried killing us and uh, was punished for it. He overly pushed us. There we go. Come on, let's get a jump showdown final to end it with. And actually win it, ideally. We only have one win. And it was a jump showdown we weren't even grabby on. We haven't really been able to get good uh, grabby showdowns. We keep getting hexagon. We've had very, very few grab showdowns. Slam clam again. Good stage for killing. I'm going to try getting early kills. Those are very dangerous. But a lot of people aren't expecting an early kill. Yeah, we got Wrecking Balls at the top anyway, so I don't like trying to kill on that section. We're in a pretty good spot to try doing early kills, too. Well, technically any spot could work. <laughs> but we're kind of forced to have to, based on our location. Can I please get up so I can actually get early kills? That'd be great. I just want to, like, grab lock someone. Like, I'm way too far back to try to get a kill now. Oh, we're not getting any early kills. Unless you'd kind of count that one as this. this. Oh, that guy almost fell just right from that. Okay, do we just do the rod at this point? We're going to make so many enemies, though. We're doing a dragon in the lobby. We'll play the top. I don't like the wrecking balls for the top, but we'll play the top. Yeah, let's see what kills we can get. Anyone an easy kill? Myself! Myself! <laughs> I like how much more we die when I'm actually trying to get kills. If we're just trying to survive, I'd have like a 0% death rate. Oh, well, actually trying to get kills, even if we don't secure a kill. <laughs> I'm paying so much attention to try to get kills that we keep dying. I find that really funny. Maybe we should stop trying to kill. <laughs> and just wait till Jump Showdown and then kill everyone. We might just do it that way. The amount of kills we'll get on Jump Showdown will be absurd if we can actually just get to Jump Showdown without trolling every other stage. We'll still go for some kills, but we'll play it a little bit more cautious. We'll try to only take uh, safe uh, kill secures on rollout. Which you have to wait for the later half of the stage because the stage starts with way too many people. It's pretty much suicide doing it initially. Or pure luck if you actually survive. <laughs> Because of how many people are just going to pile you. Like, you try grabbing someone, you'll have someone grabbing you. You'll have someone grabbing the person grabbing you. And then you'll have a person grabbing the person grabbing you, grabbing them. <laughs> it's just a whole chain of grab wars. For the first, like, 30 seconds. Like, if I go to this ledge, someone's going to try grabbing us. Or I can punish him. Got him! One kill. 
Oh, I tricked him. I was like near the ledge to pretend I'm like gonna be there. And then I just tricked them. Two kills. Wow, we're doing good this time. We got two of the uh, 20 kills, which is not too bad for one person. Yep, we got two kills. No death. Uh, let's see. That's about our average for that stage. Two kills. Everyone else elim gets eliminated too quickly to normally grab more. I think the best we ever did was four or five. It'd be really hard to get above five, though. Uh, perfect. Slime climb again. Okay, how are we playing this? Do we want a raw? Do we want to do lower? Which I was so far behind, I couldn't even do the last time. Or do we want to do top? We have to front run if we want to do top, though. Depends on our starting position. Oh, we got hammers. I kind of want to do top. Ah, uh, this is not a good starting position for that, though. We'll see. We might be able to cut away. If they fail the initial jump. There's another dragon, too. We can kind of camouflage a little bit. Ah, I made that one guy almost not make it, though he did make it, unfortunately. Do I have to kill our dragon brethren? That'd be rather bad. Oh, no, they tripped me up. Both of them died. They did. Even the dragon. Uh, let's see. We'll go this way. That dragon actually fell. All right, we're front-running this. Do we just claim our safe first, or do we kill everyone? We've been doing pretty bad on kills here lately, though. Oh, he got past us. No! Okay, the warder's a good player. Keep an eye on that for later stages. The warder's a lot better than he may appear. Right, let's see if we can get a kill here. Not quite. How does it move him so little? Yes. Yes, yes, perfect grab, perfect grab. How are you not dead? Yeah, that's our kill over there. I'm counting that. That's a kill, that's a kill. Two kills. Okay, we're in a death lock right now. That guy is an assist because we killed him with intimidation. Two kills, one assist. Intimidation kills count for assist. Okay, I'm like second to last here. Okay, we got a new kill option now. Is that Sonic doing that? I'm gonna stay over here for now. Pretend to be right over here. Play it safe. <gasps> oh, yes! That's an assist! Two kills, two assists. Okay, I'll take it. Two kills, two assists, no death. That's fine. That is perfectly fine. Okay, we should have rollout. I mean, not rollout. Uh, jump uh, showdown. I mean, not jump showdown. Well, I wish it was jump showdown. We should have jump club, which we can get about two kills on, one or two. Hopefully it goes jump club into jump showdown. I, I hope it doesn't go to hexagon. Hexagon is so bad for getting kills on. Compared to jump showdown, at least. You can get maybe like one or two kills on hexagon. But uh, jump showdown, you can kill literally the entire lobby. <laughs> Which is always funny. Yeah, there's only five eliminations, so if we can even secure one kill, I'll be happy with it. Because it's such a low elimination number. Also, I gotta keep the dragon alive, ideally. Because people might confuse us with him. We're wearing a different faceplate and different arms, but uh, he looks similar enough that people might not notice. I need to get rid of this water. He was good. <gasps> oh, I almost didn't make that. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I got to eliminate the water. I got to stalk him without looking like we're stalking him. Uh, I grabbed too early. Any anti grabs? That's to be expected. Yeah, he's good. He's going to be a threat. Right, we haven't gotten a kill yet. I ideally want to get it on the water. He's kind of chasing me, too. I think he realizes. 
Oh, it didn't connect. Oh, that would have been a kill. You know, he he's, he knows, so he's getting away. Wait, did he just die? No, he's still alive. Come on, I need him to be the last death. I can't grab him. The other guy's too close. Oh, I tumbled him, but I didn't uh, get the kill. He's too far to grab now. Ah, I still didn't kill him. He just doesn't want to die. Uh, I could have grabbed him there. I didn't want to have a latency issue, though. My gosh, he made it. That's bad. He saw us targeting him. That's really bad. We got no kills, no assists, but we didn't die. I mean, the other guy does look a lot like us. Okay, I need to not grab initially and make him think the other dragon is me. Hopefully he didn't see our arms, because the only difference between me and the other dragon is he's not wearing T-Rex on his arms. So he looks similar enough that uh, hopefully he sabotages him and not me. Hopefully he doesn't have name tags on. Oh gosh, we got Hexagon. Never mind. No jump showdown. Let's go get ourselves a win. Okay, I'm predicting it now. If we don't win, the water's winning. 100% chance. The rainbow water wins if we don't win. I'm placing my bets now. I grabbed him. I grabbed him again. <laughs> I grabbed him again. <laughs> okay, I'm done trolling him. He knows which dragon we are now. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's funny. Okay, have we gotten a cut of real estate? I'm concerned that the answer is no. Hello. Okay. How do we play this? Let's cut him off from civilization. I need him to have as little of a section as possible. Okay, I think I've successfully cut him off from all other people. And now he's just eating his own little bit of real estate that he has. That's right, I'm about to do the same. Okay, he's in a fight with the other guy. We can cut off this section. I want this section to myself, even though it might be a little small. Oh gosh, this is a lot of area. I gotta do a little bit of cutty. Cutty, cutty. Cutty, cutty. Oh gosh, the dragon took my section. Got him. Easy grab. Now let's let them devour each other for a moment so we can figure out where we want to go. And then cut them off. Oh, what's the game plan here? Uh, I gotta go for this section. Oh gosh, there's gonna be so many people here though. This is concerning. Do I even have anywhere to go below me? Oh, that's such a risky jump. Uh, I think it was worth it though. No! No! How did I miss that? No! Oh, the warder actually lost. Mostly because I attacked him. Come on, that would have been us right there. We would have won. Where's the other guy? That would have been us right there. Oh, he failed. If we would have made that jump and didn't do that fail, we would have been him. Not him, but the uh, tomato guy. And we probably could have won. No! <laughs> I almost want to call the warder kill as our kill, though. <laughs> <laughs> because we trolled him so hard at the beginning, which ultimately led to him losing. <laughs> okay, we'll do one more round. That is a death, though. Uh, let's see. We'll do one more round. This will be our final, final round. I want to try getting our jump showdown as a final, final. Because you can get so many kills on it. But there we go. We're basically at a 3 KD now. 3 KD, 2 assists. That's about what I thought it would end at. 3-1-2. Three kills, one death, two assist ratio. That seems about right. I'll right, we'll play one more. This will be the last one. I'm going to start making dinner. And then we'll have the other stream in four and a half hours from now for Gems of War. Our next Fall Guys stream, um, hopefully this Tuesday. I'm not sure exactly when. Because I'm probably going to spell, play Spellbreak on Thursday. Maybe on Monday as well, but definitely Thursday. Other than that, um... Yeah, I'm pretty sure Tuesday it would be. Oh, I just noticed something which might be causing the lag. Why is my stream bitrate different than my... Where do you even go to change the stream bitrate? I was changing the other thing. 
but my stream bitrate is lower than my um, actual stream from the program. That's weird. That might be what was causing the lag earlier. Because the one for the stream that's actually getting to YouTube is lower than the one that I'm actually putting out. I think that's our kill. Right? That should be a kill secure. How's he not dead? How on earth are you not dead yet? How on earth is he not dead yet? Oh, we got zero kills, zero deaths, zero assists. Okay, slime climb. Nice. Great stage for killing on. Yes! <laughs> we almost didn't make that. Okay, where are we going for kills at? Are we gonna do the rod? I can't see all the way up. It looks like hammers. But I think it's the hammers from the previous section. I can't see high enough yet. Okay, we got wrecking balls. Uh, to troll the rod or not to troll the rod? If we get jump showdown, that'd be very annoying. I'm already gonna be a grabber anyway, so... You know what we must do is delay everyone here as much as possible. Doesn't matter from what location. Oh good, we got grabbers over here. Perfect. I'm in a really bad location there. Good, the amount of delay we're getting here is very large. I think everyone's dying out now. Go get this guy. <gasps> no! He actually got us! No! Another death. I'm not sure if we even got any kills or assists there. That was hard to tell. He got us, though. With the latency issues. It's so hard to tell where someone's actual location is. I was trying to t kill him from the side, but then they end up killing us. Because you'll, like, grab at someone and then it doesn't initiate. Because their location is actually different than where they actually are. It always hurts. Should have left them alive and took everyone out who would get past them. Would have probably been a bit better. But that wouldn't be as fun. <laughs> Should probably play a little bit safer this time though so we can reach final again. That'll be our final final. The final final. I wish we were able to get a set that only has one final minigame, though, so you would know which one it is. That was one good thing about the previous set, that it was always Fall Mountain, so you actually knew what you were going to get. Uh, I wish they had one where it was just, just Hexagon and just Jump Showdown. And hopefully never one will exist of just Tail Tech. <laughs> but um, we need them to be just one, so you know what you're getting each time. A game mode where the final is the same day every time. Oh, 
Okay, who's gonna die here? How did neither of them die? Oh wait, never mind, it died. That was a kill. That was the one we grabbed. So we got one kill. Can we get another? Doesn't look like it. My kill? Two kills. Nice. That was the last one to win with, too. Nice. Two kills. One of them was a really good skin, too, the last one we got. Very nice. 48 kills. Oh, looks like we're going to have over 50 kills this stream. We've prevented 50 people from getting the crown. <laughs> Though I did let a half Sonic get a crown on a four-way tie uh, jump showdown earlier. Actually, it was a five-way tie. There's four other people. Okay, Slime Clan, perfect. No memory match, exactly what we want to see. It's almost more important that we get this than not memory match, than it is getting uh, Jump Showdown compared to Hexagon. Because either of those is fine, though I do prefer Jump Showdown. And hopefully once they fix it on Monday, it'll be kind of back to normal. And just as glorious as it was before is my favorite stage. Which we used to have like 80% win rate on until they changed it. So the main reason I've been getting lower win rate on, I've kind of gotten used to it, but I keep going for kills. <laughs> Which lowers your win rate, actually. Because there's a lot of mistakes that can happen. I like to consistently kill 10 people. The amount of extra targeting that occurs next to you is really high. It's not even messing up the grabs normally that kills you. It's more so being targeted because you're killing everyone. Normally intimidating them so much that they don't dare challenge your grab works, but sometimes they don't care. <laughs> Those grab suicide or do something else similar to that. Oh, we didn't make the jump. I almost never make that jump. I've made it like once or twice ever. I don't feel like it's worth it. There is some consistency to it if you have like no one contest contesting it, but it's just so risky. Well, not risky, but it normally wastes time rather than save time. Also, I'm not getting kills right now, am I? I should probably go get some kills. Or die. <laughs> or die trying. <laughs> This is what happens every single time we try getting kills on uh, on that stage. I should just play it normally. We have like near 100% completion on it, playing it normally. But the second you try going for kills, it's like, nope, you're dead. <laughs> because one small misstep and you're like already obliterated. Which is unfortunate. We'll play it normally. Welcome to the stream, Moxie. We're trying to get kills. <laughs> We're actually keeping track of our kills, deaths, and assists in uh, uh, in slime um, uh, survival. And we've been trolling it pretty much the whole time for fun. Though failing occasionally. <laughs> and also our win rate's way lower than normal because we're mostly just trying to get kills. Just have fun. We have more crowns than we know what to do with at the moment. I think we're sitting on almost 100 crowns. One kill. Uh, that's not a kill, unfortunately. I thought he might die in a few seconds after. But nope. Ooh, I want this tile to get a kill on. Oh, I can get a grab properly. Everyone was moving too quick. They're in a brawl. No, we both died. It still counts as my kill, though, too. So that's two kills, one death. I mean, uh, yeah, two kills, one death. No. That's what happens when we keep going for kills. It seemed like that would be one that we could, but once we were in, like, side-by-side -side arm lock, it did seem like we were both going to die. Uh, so that's 50 kills, 18 deaths. Too many deaths. Our assist rate's going down. 
Uh, I'm playing on the PC version. I think there's a survive, get to final, and just get all of our kills on Jump Showdown. It's like a free 5 plus kills. Jump Club and Jump Showdown, it can really rack them up. Though, um, Jump Club normally doesn't last long enough to kill everyone. Like, you normally can only get like one or two, but it's pretty consistent one. And you can also kill whatever the biggest threat is before the final. Also, hello, loading screen. Do you want to get us into a lobby? Hello? Also, probably the last round we do. Win or lose. So let's play it a little bit safer. They'll still be very grabby. But safe grabby. And then I'm going to go make dinner. Everyone earlier with all the food talk like an hour ago made me so hungry. No, I don't have any PlayStation. I don't have any PlayStation or Xbox console. I only have a Switch and a PC. I forget what phone I even have. It's a really cheap one because I don't use it for much. I always get rather dated phones. <laughs> I very rarely would ever have a quality phone. I've actually never owned a quality phone, actually. I, um... For a short duration of time, when I used to work for a green energy company, I had a business phone that was pretty solid. I think it was like a thousand something dollar phone at the time. I forget exactly how much. I know it was pretty high end though. But, um, I, can't, I actually can't even remember what it was. But, um, that's the only like good phone I've ever owned. <laughs> and it technically didn't even own it. It was just a, um, you know, a free phone for uh, business purposes. But it wasn't to keep, it was just the uh, business phone. Killed the dragon. That's interesting. He went for the kill, but he did a jump over to make sure that he didn't die. That's an interesting strategy. Come on, one, someone die here. Someone needs to die here. Okay, that guy's a big threat. That guy was just following. Okay, we didn't get any kills there, though. Do I still have it? No. Okay, we got slime flam again. Perfect. Okay, let's just go in front run. <laughs> We've been killing so much here that uh, we're just going to take a nice, safe uh, front run for once so we can get the final. We're going to play this super safe. Oh, we got rods, though. Oh, but we got a perfect starting position for getting first. Uh, the conflicting combination. <laughs> we got, like, the perfect one to kill on and the perfect one to front run on. Oh, gosh. I failed, though. Rip. I tried beating the thing, but it moving too quick. Also, does that count as assist? That one over there? That looks like an assist kill. I'm counting that as assist. That definitely looked like an assist to me. Oh yeah, I need to kill that one ninja guy. If we don't, he wins final. Or at least it will be a very big contestion on the final. I'm scared to try fighting him though on the higher end. Oh good, we made him fall back. Okay, let's take a solid first. I really should try eliminating him, though. Because he's going to be such a high liability. Yeah. 
is going to be a ridiculously high liability on the final. Oh, what up? That's bad. Oh, there goes our first place. Oh, maybe we can eliminate him now. I thought I failed that hard. He's not expecting it. Please be a kill. No, I did not not kill. No! Oh, that could have killed. That could have killed. What are you doing? I'm not trying to grab you. I'm just trying to get to the end at this point. Alright, let's take our qualify. And our one assist. But yeah, we weren't able to get the really good one killed. We got past this. If I didn't fall there, we might have had a chance of doing it. We got at least one grab on him, though. Uh, also, what just happened to the pasty there? The there? There we go. My bar just went, like, all the way down. I grabbed the wrong thing. There we go. A Sonic is super grabby. But it is a safe area to grab in. I'm not surprised there's a grabber there. This is the safest format to do grabbing on. Because you have a whole square that's safe. And he died. He ultimately died. See, that's why that what happens when you go uh, super grabby. That's why we kept like, getting eliminated. It is so risky doing grabbing on this stage. Like, every kill you get is just an increase of your chance of dying. Okay, so if we get Jump Club here, I need to kill Target, uh, without making it suspicious, the ninja. He's by far the most intimidating based on what we've currently seen. So we got to dispose of him. He was also front running until he messed up. So we're ready until we messed up. <laughs> but we got to deal with him on Jump Club. If we get only one kill, that is the one kill we need to get. Oh gosh, we got Block Party now. That's bad. Because now we're going to go Block Party in the final. I can't kill him on this stage unless we have big blocks. And even then, it might be hard to kill him. It would have been much easier to kill on Jump Club. Because you don't necessarily get to choose who you kill on this stage. Okay, we still have another full dragon. I need them to live. So people might confuse us for him. Oh, wait, there's two full dragons. Hold up. They're all wearing a different faceplate than me, though. <laughs> Why is the other dragon grabbing me? The other two dragons might be teamed or something. They don't want another dragon around. So they know exactly who their teammates are. I think he's just grabbing literally everyone, though. And there's the good player. Trolling around with infinite jumps. I need to punish that if he does something weird at one point. Like right there. <gasps> Did I kill him? No! I killed myself trying to kill him! <laughs> Wasn't worth it. I hate that latency issue. It looked like we were further to the left, but due to the lag, it actually moved us to the left. That's what happens when you try going for the kill. <laughs> no! I hate the latency issues in this game. Hopefully they eventually fix them. There's so many weird shenanigans that happens because of grabbing because of that. Because it looked like we were to the left of him. But then, like, I'm watching the replay right now. Like, it looks like we're to the left. Let me go rewatch it. So, whoops, it would help if it's not paused. There we go. So, we were to the left of him. And then the lag made him go to the uh, left of us. And then we died. <laughs> but yeah, if we held left advantage, we wouldn't have died there. And he would have gotten the kill. But it looked like we were at first. And then he teleported. <laughs> not because he actually teleported, but because of the... Um, the weird lag that it has. But anyways, I think we're going to end out for now. I'm getting hungry from before. Still haven't ate today. Um, but yeah, I really love the new game mode. It's a lot of fun for trolling. Uh, you can get a quite a few crowns for it too, but obviously that wasn't our goal for today. It was by no means to get crowns, even though we did one once at least. But um, that was not the goal. The goal is to have fun doing a lot of grabs. And our final KDA is not, uh, five kills, uh, two death, or uh, sorry, uh, 50 kills, 19 deaths, and 29 assists is what it ultimately ended up coming down to. So you could basically say we did a 5-2-3 for our final KDA, essentially. A 5-2-3. I think that's fair to say. So uh, that's not too bad. Uh, we'll need to compare it to when we do this again. Um, we'll probably do it on Tuesday, I think. Um, Tuesday and then go to... Um, we'll probably start around noon or so, do it on Tuesday. Maybe go for a little bit longer, but I'm uh, curious to see how far we'll get in about the same amount of time of three and a half hours. And see if it kind of evens out. But um, we'll end it there for now. Uh, tonight we'll be streaming Gems of War in four hours from now. And other than that, uh, tomorrow we'll not have a midday stream. And that's pretty much the game plan. Anyways, guys, thank you so much.